What is up, my Thursday night gamers? Woo! Welcome to A Song of Ice and Fire. With my opponent and my nemesis, <laughs> Curtis. How are you doing, Curtis? I'm doing pretty well. Awesome. I am happy to be here. It's been a while since I've been on stream, it feels like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, a lot of like weird things happen that kind of prevented us from being able to be here, but yeah. I'm also happy to be playing our one and only true love. I know. To all of you AOS lovers, I'm sorry, but this will always be. <laughs> Our one and only true love. Yes. yes. If I'm very honest. We are playing the, I don't know what it's called. It's like Winds of Undance Winter. Dance with Dragons. Dance with Dragons, yes. So it's the objective where we have three objectives <coughs> in the center of the table, and when you pick them up, your unit's movement is reduced to two inches, and you carry the dragon egg around with you. And then when you. Let me uh, tell you, I fucking hate that objective. Hey, <laughs> but you only got one cab unit <laughs> that can really. Wait, can he pick it up? Yes. Yeah, 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 I suppose yeah. he can. Absolutely. Okay. So yeah, um, you get benefits when you pick them up. There are, are mission cards, objective cards, next to each one of these things that we can go over. Um, and then when you complete a melee attack against a unit holding one of those eggs, and you have more ranks than them, you get it. If they fail a panic check, they drop it. If they're wholly destroyed, they drop it. So yeah, that one. I'm playing Greyjoy, Curtis is playing Targaryen. Let's go over the list. Evan, are the lists available? Yes. Okay, so exclamation mark lists in the chat will get you the uh, text list, but we'll go that over the list right That has worked the now. whole time. Anyone who says otherwise <laughs> is lying. <laughs> so yeah, me and Chris haven't played a song by Safari in a while, so we'll, we'll remind each other of our army's mechanics um, as we go through them. Do you want me to go first or do you want to go first? Uh, I can go ahead and start. So I am playing a bit of a different list than what Targaryens normally do. Obviously, I am, well, you, I say obviously, but you can't see it yet. Uh, I'm not running many cav. I'm actually only running uh, Vets and Jorah, uh, Lone Jorah, I should say. Those are my only cav. Otherwise, I'm going to be using Marcelin as my commander. He's a new commander from the Star Heroes 3 box. Uh, I did run him last time when we played Song of Ice and Fire and got absolutely annihilated. <laughs> uh, and there are some considerations I made during that game, and I've changed up my list a bit accordingly. Um, but anyway, so I have uh, Dothraki Veterans and Jorah, which is obviously just a fantastic combo. I can use Jorah's, uh, what's it called, scout openings to give my vets Two attacks worth of rerolls and uh, precision, and it's just, it's nutty. It's very, it's very good. Brutal. It's very good at blowing up a unit. Um, <clears throat> I have a unit of freedmen, mostly for the activation, but also because Marcelin has this very interesting ability called Unfaltering Conviction, uh, which powers him up as my units die. So if my freedmen die, uh, it's not Omega Sag, in fact, it's Omega Pog. So, and then I'm gonna be running Marcelin in a unit of Swordsmasters. They look like pikemen because I only have one unit of Swordsmasters. Uh, and I'm also running a second one, uh, Marcelin in Swordsmasters, which has Dauntless and that unfaltering conviction I was talking about. And then I have another unit of Swordmasters with an Unsullied Officer, which gives them Relentless, as well as go down fighting. My two NCUs are Barris and Selmy. Can't go home without them, especially, uh, can't leave home without them, especially against Greyjoy. And then Illyrio, just two NCUs this time instead of three. Okay. And then what does the Unsullied Officer do for the unit other than Relentless? Uh, go down fighting. fighting. And what which is, is, if I lose a rank, the unit I'm engaged with takes one wound. Ah, okay. Okay. And then what are the special things about the Freedmen? Is, are they truly just chaff or do they have any yeah. like... So they don't give VPs, um, they mm. cannot control objectives. Uh, which I kind of aligned them up so that they could, so that was me being a dingle, but <laughs> <laughs> not a big uh, deal. Uh, they have this ability called Untrained Masses, where if they're like not within short range of some other unit without that keyword, they just die um, at, oh the end of, at the end of a round, or at the start of a round, it says. So I need to keep them near my other units, uh, and then the other thing they give is Gang Up, which is obviously ah. a fantastic little buff to any other units that are engaged with the unit they're engaged with. Indeed. All right, cool. I think I know what the rest of your stuff does. Vets have decent shooting and decent combat. They have swift retreat. They so when I attack them, they can retreat. Indeed, right? yes. Um, and after like any maneuver, march, whatever, they can do a shot, which is what the quick fire is. I think you mentioned that already. Just yeah. a maneuver and retreat, not a march. And that's a short range shot. Indeed, quick yes. fire. Okay, cool. All right. Thanks, Rat the Unloved. Appreciate the compliment. Also, we got a sub from iBot1963 when the stream was starting. Thank you for the sub, y'all. Yeah, also, yeah. we haven't really acknowledged chat at all. What up, chat? How you doing? <laughs> I called you gamers at the beginning, and then I forgot about you. What up, gamers? Gamers. I saw uh, Eternix in the chat trying to use the Krissa command. I, is it an I? Maybe it's K-R-I-S-S-A? Please try it again, because I want to see that command, because I have not seen it basically since that stream. But yeah, how's everyone doing? We feel loved. Excellent. That is that is why we're here. True. K R I S S A. There it is. Okay. K R I S S A. Try it again. Also, do we? Can we get a gamba going? I'm working on that right now. Six, six, I six. know what it says. <laughs> <laughs> it's my job. All right. 
I'm running Greyjoys. I have three NCUs. The Triarchy, Roderick, Wendemere, Baron Blacktide. Pretty classic. Yep, they're the best. Um, and then I have, for my list here, my, my actual combat units, I have a unit of Silence Man, freshly painted! <laughs> they look fantastic, my guy. Thank you. Um, and then, get that, uh, you gotta get that tray to match them. I know, though. yeah. That, that's probably so easy and gonna be such a quality of life improvement to the, just the, whole, the look of the, the whole aesthetic. tray. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You got that you got Victarion in that unit for Relentless and Furious Charge. And then right next to them, I have Iron Makers with Asha for Warcry and also re reducing their pitiful morale of seven to five. <laughs> Very necessary. So yeah, it's the one <laughs> thing about Iron Makers that sucks is their morale. Um, then a, a naked unit of Ironborn Bowmen. And then my commander's unit over here, uh, Baylor Blacktide with a unit of Reavers. Um, and then happy to explain what my cards are because there are some gotchas. Um, yeah, I, I, don't, have, I don't remember. Yeah. Sorry, Baylor. Baylor. Yeah. I don't remember Baylor's cards. If I'm being honest, I can also tell you what my cards are as well. So. Sure, that'd be nice. Um, um, I'll go first. Marceline okay. has devastating impact, which on the charge gives panic, uh, gives you panicked and vulnerable. Okay. Uh, and if it's Marceline's unit, it's some other benefit that unfortunately I can't remember, and I've already shuffled my decks out right now. Look for it. Okay. He also has Warcry as a card, uh, which I can just use from any of my units. Um, he has a card that replaces the swords with an extra unit of freedmen in the same way that you could bring raiders on as free folk. Um, and then, gosh darn, what is his last card? So, oh, you can. Oh, supply it. He has supply it. Nice. Okay. Those are just four cards. You have four and, cards. Okay. And to be genuine, the card that is being replaced is field control. So you do ah! not, yeah, I figured you'd be. Beyond stoked about that, you do not need to worry about Praise the <laughs> gods! Okay. Which which pains me. It's probably <laughs> the reason that he's not good uh, on stats. Yeah. I, yeah. I mean, I'm going to keep trying control him. control is I, amazing. going to keep trying him, so. I think right. cool. his, his cards seem great. I, yeah, I think he's cool otherwise. I think yeah. just losing field control is a big It, it hurts, yeah. It absolutely hurts, yeah. we got to get a close-up on those painted minis. Um, there is a close-up camera that will be engaged when it's <laughs> more relevant. It, it's kind of pointed at the center of the table. At the moment, but we'll we'll we'll, we'll get it in there. Zerkis with the prime sub for two years. Yeah, Twenty four months, dude. That's, that's sub nutty. God damn. <laughs> God damn. Thank you, Zerkis. Okay, I don't have four cards. I'm not cool like Targs. I have three. I have lash out. That's the big one. I don't like that at all. So that's like I take two wounds for each rank that got destroyed. Straight wounds. I think it's just rank that I'm missing. So oh, eat. missing. So it's not I destroyed it that turn. You could just be at two one rank and you could just if I survived after an attack. Okay. Yeah. Um, I have Black Tide Resentment, which gives me buffs based on the number of ranks that I'm missing. If I heal at any point in the game, I lose that buff. Right. And then I have, um, I can't remember the name of it, but I have a card that allows me to buff my morale when I'm making a morale or a panic check. Okay. And it increases it by the number of units that, sorry, by the number of ranks that I'm missing. Um, so if I need to pass okay. a critical morale check, it's good for that. Sounds good. So a lot of like ranks missing effects. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. So blow you up early is what you're saying. Exactly. Starcraft Jason with a prime sub. Mm -hmm. My Star guy, Star Starcraft Jason. You Starcraft fan, my guy? We got, any Starcraft, we got any Starcraft lovers in the chat? I'm ready for Starcraft Jason to be like, nah, I don't really know. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> ben Fett. I got given this with nickname by a buddy of mine. Thank you, Ben Fett. Thank All right, it's time for the almighty roll. Yeah, we already did it. We already did it. <laughs> we, we have indeed already done that. So you get to choose who goes first. Uh, I chose to put aside and deployed first. What do you do in this game? I know, right? What's the best thing how to do, do? How do you play games? You must construct additional pylons. Um, this kid knows. I think I'll go first. Yeah, let's start. What's your, what's your main race, bro? <laughs> you can't come in here with an ammo and expect me not to ask you in the bay. I'm such an RTS fan, and we just we never get to talk to, about RTSs on this stream, except for when we occasionally talk about Warcraft 3. <laughs> Zerg, my boy. Is it five cards or three cards? <laughs> okay, you are struggling right now. <laughs> it's five, right? Anyone three. who's been on Scott? It is three cards. I'm sorry for you. <laughs> All right, we're going to put these back, and we're going to draw three. It is indeed three. You have a max of five. Three seems so low. We'll start with three. AOS should have fucking tactics cards. AOS needs nothing more. AOS needs, <laughs> yeah, let's it introduce needs removal. Another randomized element to AOS. Maybe, <laughs> maybe there are tactics cards, but you only draw on a two up. <laughs> Mike Genie Roll already three dice on each two up, draw a tactics card. That's the AOS <laughs> way of doing it. All right, I have cards in my hand. All right. Who's going first? Uh, I am. Um, oh, you are. You changed yeah. your mind. Yeah, yeah. I see. I think I Cheated. remember. I remember the strategies in, in in song where it's like if I have an army that can like be aggressive 
top of turn two, then I want to go second, but I rarely have that with an infantry army. Sometimes it's nice with, with cavalry, because like if I go second, then you oh, aren't like gosh. super aggro turn one, but yeah, I'll go first. I will put um, Roderick Harlaw on letters. I'll draw two tactics, two or one, two tactics cards, and I will weaken the vets. That's okay. that's cool. My, that's my turn. I'll play Barrison Selmy on <clears throat> the uh, maneuverability slot. I will place his card on your unit of Soundsmen with Vic. Um, I should say his influence. And I will. <clears throat> I don't know what I want to move. <laughs> I just know that I want that zone. Who has the most painted models? Real talk. Do you mean like in this game right now or overall? Unfortunately, or the answer is both for the same. Or is comparing? the same for both, I should say. Who are we even comparing right now? I mean, I have the most painted song minis for sure. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Time to go out to my car and bust out my army. Bust it out. Bust you out. Damn. I'll, use, I'll move my uh, unit of swords masters with. Um, an unsullied officer up five inches. All right. Then you got Ilrio left. Um, the Again, the answer is the same for both. It's Scott. <laughs> What's the morale on the Freedman? Is it like pathetic? or uh, is Probably. Like... Eight plus. Holy shit, that's terrible. Eight plus! Don't crowns at me, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it. They have six wounds. Okay, okay. I think what I'll do... I will put Wendigod on bags and replace its effect with putting another aura token on Wendy. It's coming back, baby. <laughs> I remember how to play this video game. <laughs> <sighs> Do I take crowns so you can't zap me? I don't think anyone's going to be fighting this turn. Crowns is good against Bowman because they also have a shit. Because you don't have Asha in them, actually. Yeah, exactly. actually. So it is shit. Let's go ahead and place Illyrio in the crown slot and zap your bowman. All right, so we're making a morale check at minus one for a morale of nine. Holy shit, that is bad. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Hey, you I passed! It. You got exactly nine, goddamn. Woo! Good shit, good shit. The iron, I mean, come on. They're fucking iron men. Hold on, is there a Greyjoy in House of Dragon? Has anyone ever seen, has anyone watched the whole season? Anyone know? I have not. Because they're mentioned. They're like in episode two, they're mentioned. I was kind of like, <gasps> What the hell is House of the Dragon? Targaryen yet? Yeah, yeah, there's House Valerian, there's House Hightower, the there's House, uh, there's, there's Lannisters, there's. Okay. It really actually reminded me about how the government society in that story works, yeah. right? It's just like yeah. the biggest and baddest gets to live in, uh, live, gets to occupy the Iron Throne. I need to watch that show so bad. It's good. I really like it. I mean, I love Game of Thrones, so I know everyone shits on it because the last season, but the, the show itself was still fantastic. So yeah. I can guarantee I'll like House of the Dragon as well. Excuse me. It's uh, it's your turn. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, because you zap me. Um, you have no NCUs left. I will uh, I will use uh, Vix Relentless. I will block it with Bearson. Oh, that doesn't count as a turn, it right? It doesn't. Fucking A. So the order's gone, but you still have to do something. Okay. So we're... I'm going to do math again. 28 inches apart starting out. You you shuffled them up. Oh, five inches, right? So now we're, we're 23 apart. If I go the full 10, we're 13 apart. If you go another 10, we're three apart, giving you a free charge in the beginning. Do I care about getting charged by those dudes? Not necessarily. Oh, I should play cards and stuff. What the fuck am I doing? <laughs> Um, so are you struggling over there? Yeah. Start a funny turn. Uh, Pre-measuring is allowed. Uh, yeah. Any game I that just... doesn't allow pre-measuring is <laughs> yeah. so ridiculous. What the fuck? <laughs> Play your tactical game, but you know, just guess distances. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. This is not. This is not the start of the turn. Unfortunately, but I'm just gonna put finger dance on my archers. If you're cool with that. Yeah. Okay. You're good. Um, um, you cannot. Wait, actually, yeah, you can't because you, the Relentless is also a order you tried to turn. use a start of friendly turn. Yeah, okay, so you, you straight up can't do that. I'll do it later. Spoilers. Spoilers. I think Evan, I look will... at that. I also knew that rule and was yeah, ready on it. Good job, Chris. Thank you. Thank you. I I'll thought you'd scooch. be proud. <laughs> I'll scooch up five. The old scoocher. Curtis has been playing a lot more song than Scott recently. <laughs> a lot more? I mean, I mean, almost infinitely. More. <laughs> What's up? Can someone remind me what the wall does? It is fortified about it, and also mm, hindering. Minus. No rerolls. Hindering. No rerolls. So no rerolls, and he gets plus one of the defense if I move through it. Yes. Got Correct. It. 
thing is. Just wondering why Scott was doing all the math for the measurements. Sometimes it's easier to do the math in the beginning of the game, but when everything is moving around and uh, all jumbled up, then pre-measuring makes more sense. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just trying to figure out what like the like the most like, the biggest threat range his unit could have. Like if I uh, just walked up my full ten inches. Hmm. So what do I want to do? I need season two to really drive the story. Oh, of House of the Dragon. Gotcha, gotcha. Is there a reference for song somewhere that I can use to decode the icons? Oh, for the uh, for the tactics board. Um, there is a PDF of the rule book. Um, that might, would tell might not be. I don't think the tactics board is in the rule book. Really. I think they describe that it exists. It's got to be in the what? rule book. It's got to yeah. be. I'm feel scrolling like it's through it right now. Probably. There's there's a lot of stuff that's not in the rule book. Yeah. We can go over briefly the crowns. The very first one was go from it left to right. Crowns allows you to force a unit to make a panic check, which uh, they can lose up to three models at oh, minus one morale. It is here in really tiny text. Nice. Uh, the uh, the money bags heals a unit for three. The and letters also removes the condition token. And does that, correct? Uh, the, the letters allows you to draw two tactics cards and also put a condition token on an enemy unit. Uh, the swords allows you to swing, or sorry, just attack with a unit, so melee or ranged. And then the horses allow you to make a maneuver with a unit, which is a pivot, move, pivot. Or a retreat. Or a retreat. And there are various effects on the game that let you replace either specific zones with specific things or just replace it with gen something generic. Yeah. Uh, you have Relentless on your card. What are the actions it allows me to do? Uh, an attack or maneuver action. Um, melee not a, attack. Not that a card retreat. has been updated since the uh, last printing. Not, not, a retreat. not a retreat, correct. Abe Froman says, I bought the star set with Stark and Lannies. Did you get the new one? Did you get the new one? No, that's the two-player starter. With Stark and Lannies? Oh, oh, right, of course. That, that, that's, that's the main game. But I didn't know the play area is four feet by four feet. My table is three feet by six feet. That's kind of an interesting gaming table, Abe Froman. Can you score turn run, turn one in this? No, not in this game mode. <laughs> if you could, I should have definitely thought about that. <laughs> oh, I, honestly, I really am not set up to grab these objectives very well. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this, I get to go first next turn. Okay, sick. Sick. Sick, nasty. Yeah, it's four feet by four feet for the old Song Arena. You could get a table topper that goes on top of your gaming table to kind of extend it. Or you could get a piece of plywood, honestly. That's four feet by four feet. I'm going to march with this unit of Swordmasters. Just barely scrape against this. <laughs> you can also just play it on three by six, and it's not a big deal. And take both of these things. Um, <laughs> my tray is facing the wrong way. Feels omega bad. <laughs> 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 It's classic. Uh, well, I'm going to pivot anyway, so uh, here we go. Time to not land in the same spot that I started in. Yay! <laughs> um, On the camera, you did really good, actually. Thank you. I are, cry. Are you turning around backwards, or are you facing He's fixing this? the mistake. Okay, okay, okay. What Evan said, yes. Okay. Um, <laughs> and I'm pivoting to do, you know, in consideration of things. Uh, and I guess I'll end like so. Um, they are activated, but they have not used their Relentless. Okay. A six by four applied from Home Depot isn't very expensive. Is that true, Jim Crimmins? I kind of thought that wood right now is pretty expensive. Um, games should, in general, go for three by three and three by six. Much, able, much easier to get tables in that size that fit our teeny tiny European apartments. That's fair. I feel like if some games were limited to three feet in width, they'd probably be a little bit cramped. Yeah, it'd be like hard to balance the rules yeah. for such a tight. Meanwhile, Games Wait. Workshop is like six by four, baby. Yeah, no, it's not even that. It's, it's not truly six by four. inches by I hate that sixty so much. inches. Some yeah. bullshit. Something weird, and I think it has to do with what they can fit in the big starter boxes or something like that. Okay. According um, to Dan, it is that, and also because they claim it is the size of a standard sized European table, like dinner table. Okay. Apparently. Yeah. But like, who the fuck has like a standard dinner table? Give me one standard size table. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Pretty please. <Shockies. laughs> yes, Malifaux does make three by three work, as does Guild Ball. And really, you can make any game work. You would just need to reduce the the movements, the movement speeds and inches um, of the various units, and you can make you can make it work. Um, but yeah, more more distance means more granularity, more room for uh, fun shenanigans. All right, start a friendly turn. I will put. Um, 
finger dance on this unit of Bowman. Whoa, I did not see that coming. <laughs> <laughs> There's it on the screen for everyone who doesn't know what finger dance does. Pretty classic Greyjoy card. And yeah, I think I'll move up here. Part of me is like, I want to be able to war cry turn one, but the other part of me is like, my my iron makers have no pillage on them and will fucking die if they just go and sit up in the center. So I think I'll just do the same thing. I move like five. I move like five, yeah. Actually, I could just you have seven activations. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. I have seven and one pseudo activation. Oh, sure. So you have eight and I have eight. Okay. Yeah. Pseudo eight for each of us. I was trying so hard to get to end up with more than you. Yeah, hey, or I say seven, yeah. The uh What's up, Plank Walker? I see you can't learn no more. <laughs> <laughs> Legion is three by six. Nice. Uh was that like six inches or so? Yeah, that was six inches. Okay. <clears throat> okay, cool. I uh will drop my banner. <laughs> I will oh, do. I should um, be using these banners. What? Oh, interesting. That's unfortunate. I'm down for my kid's train setup for 25 bucks. Holy shit, that's very cheap. Two weeks ago. They vary in price by thickness and wood type. Yes, you could spend 75 on a one inch knife train. Yeah, I suppose if you're buying like just the standard <laughs> stuff, it would be that expensive. Uh, all that time not painting your AOS mini is better, but it's been practicing a song because I bet the farm on you. People be betting the farm too much. I know, for that. fucking real. Sky like, this is the game I'm betting everything as I play, like, this weird list that I've never played before. <laughs> Advent, I, uh, I fixed the head Rufus, of one... I got you. Um, I repainted one guy. I haven't reattached it yet, though. Um, Crisp, how do free folk go in this game? They go very well. They're very good at the moment. They go hard. They go very, um, very hard. I am Omega Sag. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for the big think. <laughs> the big think. Scott blocks just, his uh, in arm. Sometimes, yeah. Could have done the thing different. Which is pretty classic. You don't, um, you don't let us play annoying sounds? I, I, that's fair, that's fair. Advent 667 subscribing. Thank you, Advent. Yo, thank you. Where you 10 why months do, Why do I not see that notification? I see it. Do you? Is your, maybe your chat is like... Broken? No, because I'm seeing people send messages. Oh, weird. Hmm. Uh, if I don't bet it all on Scott, I can't feel oh. anything. <laughs> Just can't do it. Mike, you got to get some healthier hobbies. <laughs> uh, just want to stop by and say those painted minis are looking great, Scott. Happy to see a painted forest. Tactical advantage. Not fully painted, but we're getting there. We're getting there. Thank I'm you, Derek. Anyway. Appreciate it. <clears throat> okay, I have to do things. Um, yes. I go first turn two, but I, I don't know. I don't know what that means for me. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't either. So, <laughs> right there with you. It's close enough to feel good about it, at least. Yeah, that's for sure. Curse, you gotta paint up an army for uh, for kill your friends for for anything. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we should do an escalation league for Song of Ice and Fire. So you know, with a painted army. I was just in one. <laughs> <laughs> the purpose of that one was not to paint more. Right, yeah. No. Even if it was, dude, I couldn't I couldn't do two normies at one time. It'd be nuts. Oh yeah. <sighs> I hate this mode with the two inch movement. <laughs> I hate it with such a burning passion. Yeah. Um, cool. Well you've moved these guys, so I can measure out fourteen inches and be like, okay, you can't shoot me past this essentially. These are the shoots to you guys. Oh, wait, you have Wendy. Oh, yeah. And also that. I have Wendy, which gives me a three inch shift. If, you got, if anyone doesn't know how Greyjoy works, I can spend yeah. his tokens to get extra movement or heal people and draw one tactics card. Also, a fantastic option. Okay, I'm going to. Uh, Best four point in the game. Use Relentless. Probably. And do something along these lines. Maybe cut it even sharper. I used, I mean, do you think Tycho? Nestoris was uh, the best four point NC before, before he was nerfed. Before he was he nerfed. Points. Um, maybe. Yeah. Peter is also in the running. Peter's obviously more common because he's neutral. 
But yeah, I don't get why people like Peter so much. Because he's amazing. Apparently, yeah. people really like him in. Um, uh, what am I trying to say? In Targaryen, but I just like. I don't know. Blocking his own and taking not, another zone bad, is incredible. Yeah. I know so. that's great, but it's like is that once a game? Every turn, he can block. Oh, because he can he can claim a zone and and say he's doing any other unclaimed zone. Correct. Okay. Yeah, I've got some painted horse horses. I think I have like four or five models. Um, I just haven't committed to like finishing full units and such. This I have a fully painted Targaryen army. Uh, it's because you bought it. <laughs> yeah, I didn't paint, but yeah, but if you're gonna brag about it, like, come on, my guy. <laughs> Mini Atorium, thank you for the sub. All people are asking if this is my fancy board. It isn't. We're playing on a a deserty, uh, got a nice like a little lake over here. Uh, neoprene mat. It looks really nice, honestly. Yeah, it's nice. Uh, okay, that was my relentless. Okay. Uh, over to you. Oh, why is this game so fucking hard? <laughs> you want me to run out to the car and get the chess clock? You should just have them on the table, not to play, just to show people you paint. <laughs> I mean, I can go grab some. They don't look great, but... <laughs> Actually, I have, like, one that I'm particularly proud of, and I took pictures of, but I, I don't know. I'm not someone who, like, posts on social media, so... No, I don't care. I understand people, like, I'll, I'll gladly take the shit. I will be that guy. I don't care. <laughs> But thank you, Mike Gina. I do appreciate that. This is game use terrain. It does uh, because it's a um, movement tray game. The terrain is flat and featureless, just for the sake of convenience. But there is 3D versions of it if you hate yourself. <laughs> Pretty much. Wait, I hate myself. <laughs> Bust it out. <laughs> All righty. Show me what you got. I mean, maybe Show me not immediately, but maybe we can do that later. Um, hmm. So you have activated your Reavers. And they happen to be, I hate myself, I guess. <laughs> they happen to be a distance away that is a number. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Oh, man. Two words have been spoken. Okay, uh, what's your movement on your bowman? How big of a difference does that make if the footprint of the terrain it's remains ten. the same? Imagine trying to put a flat, hard movement tray about this big on top of a stone wall that is like half an inch thick. It's, it's like a seesaw, you know, all your models are gonna flip out and fall out of the tray and, you know, be terrible. Your bowmen have five inch move, right? Or is yeah. it six? Yeah, yeah, everyone's five inch move. Okay. Um, there are clever ways to get around this. Like you could make essentially like bases for your terrain that are the same thickness as the cardboard and then the, the actual feature could be removable so that if a model moved through it, you could just remove the feature temporarily and then put it back when they left. So there are solutions. And I've wanted to make terrain like that for um, A Song of Ice and Fire at some point, um, just because I agree the flat cardboard terrain is not very compelling, unfortunately. Um, yeah, Eternix. There definitely are solutions, though. I'll move my Freeman. <laughs> Over to you. Rufus Cat, I don't know what the Expanse is, otherwise I would understand that joke. I think you know the Expanse. I do, wait, what do you say? So much making an Expanse war game, and you can have a rule called Newton's Curse, where every missed shot keeps going in a straight line across the whole board. Or else for every unit it passes through. I mean, I don't know what he's referring to, just based on that. <laughs> I'm going to pop one of Roderick's orders, which allows me to cycle my hand. Um, I have four cards right here, so I will draw one plus that, so five, and then shuffle the other ones back into my deck. Hate that. <laughs> I you can it. do that, what, twice a game? Twice a game. Good. Can't get those talking back anyhow. Magnetic pips on the terrain board, that way you could anchor the terrain. That wouldn't solve it though, because if I move the terrain to get it out of the way for a movement tray, I wouldn't know exactly where to put it back. Oh, there's a card. Unless you're referring to a combination of the solution I suggested and magnets. If that's the case, then yes, that would definitely work. I'll shuffle that more. Harden is auto block one. Plus one block for each missing rank? Correct. So the most you can block is three that way? Correct. Um, okay. I figured that it was something like 
that it wasn't necessarily a reference to expanse, but instead just like a like an inertia kind of thing. But start playing turn, I'll put finger dance on, on me. Silence Man. Uh, is his not started for friendly turn? I'm sorry. Oh, the uh, Roderick and Wendemir. Uh, live outside of the standard. Oh, of course. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not even joking. They do. They are, they are above said rules. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I can do both, fortunately. Um, I want to shoot you, no. but you're not going to give me something to shoot. Goddamn right, I'm fucking not. <laughs> give me something to shoot. Is that a StarCraft reference? Yeah. What? Get the fuck. That's, like, that's a StarCraft 1 reference. Yeah. Goddamn. It's physics. I'm a callback. And a callback to the Mass Effect speech about Sir Isaac Newton being the most dangerous man in the galaxy because bullets that miss never stop until they hit something. Yeah. Because the expanse is hyper realistic. Gotcha. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I think that last sentence was sarcasm. I wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> Just assume everyone's being genuine all the time <laughs> when I'm talking about TV shows and references I don't understand. Uh, I'll move those guys up. A solid fiver. The expanse was a fantastic show. It was so fucking good. One of, if not my favorite, sci-fi shows of all time. I'm within six of the Weirwood tree. Like I planned it. <laughs> Intentional. Pro. <laughs> Pro gamer. When you are measuring range, is it from the center? Yes. Yeah, you measure, or from the arrow? Measure line of sight from any part of the front of the base, but range is from the center. Sick. Sick. You have, you have Wendy shifts. So Wendy shifts, and also you get a two-inch shift when you make an, any range attack. Yes, but that has to be ortho. This is Jimmy. You still wouldn't be able to go left. So you'd be like... With that little bit of schnoz on the side there, get, yeah, I don't think it would. That little schnoz. I'm gonna activate Jorah. I'm gonna do a little... I'm gonna do a little... And then we're finna gonna. Uh, march. Now I have just barely gone boop. Just smooched it right on its lips. And then do something like that. So are we saying with a Wendy shift and a two inch thing, I can't reach that guy? I think so, if I measure it out correctly. This would be three inches forward, and then you could move like what? Like a half an inch to the left, which it looks like you still wouldn't be able to, if you went another two inches forward from here. I still don't think you would hit it. So okay. I think there's no way you can do that, but you can certainly try, and if it does work, I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> or I'll just kill, I'll kill a guy. So this is what five inch looks like, so a three inch shift and then a two inch. Um, uh, shift to shoot, and then long range. Very That's nice. what we call an Omega Pog right there. So, Who's your favorite character in the show? Definitely. Well, I don't know about definitely, but I really loved Amos. I also loved, and you're gonna kill me because I can't remember her name as I'm saying it's like one of my favorite characters. Um, the like, uh, political woman who became like very important later on uh, for Earth. I can't remember her name, but she has that very like raspy voice. Uh, the uh, uh, Indian lady. Yes, she yeah. actually. I'm just gonna say she's my favorite character. 100 percent her. <laughs> I only I only watched the first season of that show, and I was really excited to watch the second season, and then I just did my normal. It's so good. Absolutely. Never came yeah, back. Yeah. But <laughs> I I agree. My she was ready. fantastic. Yeah. She and like her she, like as an actress is amazing. Oh yeah, she's but, been in a ton of stuff, and she's great. Yeah, but her character in that show was was very fun. Um. Okay. Baylor so in the books too. Baylor's going on swords. Okay. And I'm going to put him on nothing useful. Oh my god, my nose. I hate the winter. My nose is so dry and sniffly and itchy. Um, okay. I actually, yeah, I know about that Rufus kit. But isn't it like it's like kind of far into the future or something? Um, I would love if that happened. Um, so here's the question. Do I want to like position myself such that I can be aggro top around too? Or just chill? I think 
for once in my life, I'm gonna chill because I have decided to do the opposite every time and it's burnt me so bad. So, um, I have a question. Yeah. Uh, I suppose it's probably for Evan because he is the rule guru. Um, so I have the eggs, which means I cannot move more than two inches. Uh, but I have Swift Repo, which says if you control maneuverability, you, uh, the unit performs a three-inch maneuver instead. Would that become a two-inch maneuver? I believe so, yes. Okay. You can, sh if you have a shift, shifting, I believe, is unmodified yes, by the Yes, but egg. a shift is only two inches. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, 30 year time jump. Until it's three inches. Right, well, I don't have Wendy, because I'm not a fucking god. <laughs> um... Right, so they could absolutely do that in the show still, I feel like. I mean, they could do that without waiting for like the actors to get older too, I feel. They could just like age them. Um, I, so my consideration is that I want to kind of like uh, help Jorah out a little bit and kind of, you know, get him the fork out of there. So I think I will just go ahead and do that. I'm gonna play Swift Repo and uh, move him two inches away from your scariness. Some card cycling going. He hates the bozos. You know, even with a shift, it's going to be a long charge. Get some further away from your bowmen. I believe also the hedge reduces my movement by one. Love that. Um, skin, skin cream caretakers. Nice. And then as he is destructible, by the way. Hmm. And this is my activation. I suppose I have to do things, don't I? Yeah. What do you? You got like two activations left. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'll just. I'm. You're activated out, right? Yeah. Okay. Then I should do things. Um. I will. These guys have ten inches of movement. I will move forward a considerable amount, but not the full ten. Doing a little eight-inch move. You can't be war cried. I have two inches left. And I have one inch left. Still cannot be war cried. You could shift and. Uh, I don't know if I necessarily want to take that into consideration and stay out of Warcry range just for that purpose. What? Uh, th th those guys just can't be weakened, right? But they can take Indeed. the other two conditions, right? Indeed. Okay. Yes. Okay. Nice. I, mean, you could also I think they can be weakened. You just can't spend. The yes, weakened that token is on. true, and I think that's important for scenarios that allow you to oh, consume, consume condition okay. tokens. Yeah. Okay, okay. So they just carry weakened tokens around like a parasite. Rufus Kitten, BS Gaming, and Hobbyist says, let's skip the game, declare Curse the winner, and have an Expanse appreciation stream instead. All Dude, right. I am 100% uh, down for that shit. Uh, that, uh, <laughs> you better fucking believe. I'm so glad to hear that so many people on the stream are fans of that show, because I'm trying to get my, uh, my current partner to watch that with me, but we are in the middle of a different show, which I've never seen before, called Battlestar Galactica. <laughs> And holy the original shit. or the remake? No, 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 the remake. Battlestar like Galactica, dude. It is surprisingly good. And it's I don't pretty care good. If anyone shits on it, it's very good. <laughs> it, it has a little bit too much soap opera for my taste. It's a, it's a little campy but, in that way. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I do really like it. But if you I can get past that, that it's very fun. Yeah. Um, okay, so that was their movement. Um, and then vets. I suppose I should get back up. <laughs> <laughs> um, 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 um. We will. Free Manoofskis. Six inches forward, as such. Um, I don't know how I want to play this game. <laughs> yeah, well, I was could, not ready. We could just run around and do NCU stuff. <laughs> so. I've got tons of range with my fucking march and shit. So we'll go like here. You could still um, use a Wendy shift and move forward and shoot me. Yeah, five saves, right? Yeah. Maybe because of that, I should actually care. They have five saves and I have finger dance, so they'd be vulnerable when like shooting. So worth worth considering all those things. Okay. Then instead, we'll kind of like be over here. So, because then I think. Something like that. Sure. <clears throat> okay. Cool, cool, cool. And all these guys are just unsullied swordsmen, right? That's right. Okay. Okay. And they have a four up save, right? Four up save, five morale. The swordmasters are four four. 
four, four. Yeah, they're Fuck. they're fucking solid. I wish that they were. I wish I had anything that had armor uh, three, but that's fine. That's nice. I know that pain as well. <laughs> cool. Cool, cool, cool. I don't score, unfortunately, because we don't score at the top of round one. But, or at the end of round one. But. You're within 12, so I can place a vulnerable on you. Uh, do you have to score a point there? To do that? Yeah. Oh, yeah, when you score a point. Yep, you're right. Good call. All right. At the top of round two, let me do some shilling. If you guys like the stream and you want to support it, you can do that by buying a shirt on the miniac.co website, which you can find by going to, or just typing in exclamation mark goodies in the chat. Also, if you have an Amazon Prime account, you can attach it to your Twitch account to sub to one free channel a month. And it doesn't happen automatically, so you have to uh, update it every single month. And we appreciate your Bezos bucks. I want them. <laughs> Don't give them to him, he sucks. And if you're using your Prime sub on someone else right now, who are you? What are you doing? Why would you not be using it on my boy? Look at us. <laughs> Look at us. We play games. Yeah. We play Look games at how money. skinny these two are. They they need your prime bucks to yeah. go and get food. Yes. Have we shown off the, the sliding cam yet, Evan, or no? Yeah, we've used the sliding cam oh, a couple Oh, god damn. It's a great shirt. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Appreciate it, Mike Genie. Honestly, not only does it look sick, it's like Omega comfy. I was very surprised because a lot of times, like, in my opinion, like, you know, shirts that you'd get from any sort of uh, like YouTube creator merch. There you go. Yeah, they're just going to be kind of like stiff and not great, but they're very comfortable. <laughs> That's a sticking point for me, too. I love soft t-shirts, and so I went all the way to find a nice soft one. There's no trendy command, there isn't? It's exclamation mark goodies. Yeah, I haven't got it. Tendy command. Oh, tendy command. Now the question is, I like both these cards, but I hate the fact that I would not be cycling cards. <laughs> yeah. So I'm tempted to potentially get rid of one and or both of them. Do it. Do it. Uh. Um. Gotta give Scott the sub. Grandma says he's so handsome. <laughs> I'm a grandma appreciator, you know? They appreciate you me, like I appreciate gilfs? them. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. He's all about the gilfs over I love here. gilfs. This guy's got sensitive nibs. Gotta have that soft shirt fabric. Oh, yeah, dude. Chafing is a real problem in the Walter family. <laughs> <laughs> it's a family thing. <laughs> it runs deep. Me and uh, Andy from the office. Nice. Wait, Nightbot has a tendies command? Oh, does no. now. It does now. I really appreciate the soft shirts. Awesome. I'm glad. Glad to hear it. I think all the shirts are the same Anvil uh, uh, brand. Cool. Okay. What do? Indeed. You need to go first. Take your banners away. Yes. Um, there are so many zones I want right now. So many zones! So many. There's so many things I want to do. But unfortunately, I can only do one of those things. I will place Bearston on letters. I will place his influence on... I will not put them on. Uh, but I will place it on your unit of Silence Men with Vic. Um, I will draw two tactics cards, and I will play... We'll do Weekend on your... Soundsman Vic. Vic is weakened. <laughs> weakened. <laughs> you have 666 channel points right now? Nice. Now we need hammer brand pants. <laughs> the restaurant gambling limbo. I'm gonna do start of any turn, your turn. I don't know if you're doing anything. Uh, play Blood of the Dragon on my sword masters with unsullied officer. So if somebody dies, they get they more get some, buffs. Some buffs, yes. Well, this is the guy with the buffs that you're thinking. What about. is what buffs does he give? Because the name of the rule wasn't the same as the other ones that I've seen. It is so uh, again. Order token. Every time one of my friendly units die, um, and if I have two, they gain plus one to hit, and if I have three, they gain plus one to defense rolls. Rolls. Sorry. I wonder why they decided to change up how that rule kind of functioned. Why just why give them order tokens? So just saying two plus units dead, they get this thing. As a way to remember how many units have died, maybe? Yeah, just to track it. Yeah. Because with Dagmar and Clefjaw's thing, it doesn't give you, it doesn't say, like, put ore tokens down, right? It's just like, you get this. Oh, no, it's because when he gets hit, that's what it is. It's called yeah. Battle Scars. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. My bad, my bad. Okay, Barristan's being a little ding. Don't call him a ding. He's a ding, bro. He's Don't a fucking bully, my boy. 
I thought I had eight activations, but I really I have fucking seven the first two turns of the game. <laughs> um, you should just kill Barristan. <laughs> I'm not. It's not Marcel. I'm not, I'm not Martel, Martel. Yeah. Just get a hammer. <laughs> Can you please not? I really like his mini. <laughs> uh, I feel like I still don't have the cards I necessarily want, and it's making me sad. Oh, my boy over here with Roderick and letters on first turn. <laughs> I know, right? I I, I'm getting all these goddamn cards. You think I get what I want, but I didn't get what I want. Um, so do I cycle them again for another five card draw? How many cards you got in your hand? I got four right now. So you didn't discard and draw? No. Okay. No, the cards I have are good. I mean, they're not good right now. Okay. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Playing some Dota. Good old cornflake justice. Dota time. Dude. Dota time. Never heard of Twilight Imperium. It's one of those uh, board games that takes seven years to play. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> For fucking real. Uh, it was right next to Song at Gen Con. And I saw one of those boards set up, and I was like, "It's a it's a board game though, not a miniature board game." It is a, it is like a four X board game with ah, uh, yeah, it's Civilization but on a board or whatever. So you My intention was to not be able to be shot. That was how I measured it out with a Wendy shift and, a, and an attack. I'm just curious if you can charge these guys right now. Mm, so you have a you have a six inch move and then a six inch charge. So you get, your threat range is twelve plus D six. Plus D six, yeah. So eighteen inches, you're. We're at, we're at 17 inches right now, so that's a that's pretty far charge. Don't have to worry about that too, too yet. I'm kind of feeling a little crazy right now. <laughs> I don't like that at all. Are you feeling crazy? No, I'm feeling pretty like reserved, especially with how I normally play, actually. so I'm going to put Baron Black Tide on the Iron Makers. Um, oh, at the start of my turn. Um, no, fuck it. I'll keep my cards. Why not? Um, I am uh, putting Baron Black Tide on the Iron Makers. I'm picking the horses zone, and I'm just going to fucking hub it. Hub it right up. He's there. going for it. Okay. Come and get me, dude. Oh, I'm good. I'm good. I'm <laughs> <laughs> You're fine right where you are. <laughs> we set aside a day with many breaks for food and whatnot. We finished in eight to 12 hours. Son of a bitch. I've never no, that's not that bad. I've never just played, a whole day. I've never played Todd <laughs> I've never played it. Um, I'd love to get a Dune game going, but like TI and GOT, you need six players for it to be any fun. Rick what's, Curtis. what's GOT? Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. They, know, they got like, on what's the, game? the Game of Thrones board game. There's a board game? I know there's card games. Yeah, there's a board game. Oh, okay. And it's um, like a complicated political game. Oh. And my buddy Alex keeps saying that he wants to play it, but we need people. We should do it. We need people. I would play. Does it have minis? I don't think it does. Okay. Mm. It's pretty great. It takes all day. I just recently played, um, shit, what's it called? Uh, Court of the Damned, Mourner's Call, uh, like in the couple, last couple of days. Um, that game is okay. I love Court of the Damned. I love the aesthetic of that that world, but the game is kind of like just resources on resources and just kind of feels like they're all meaningless. I love the GOT board game. GOT board game is kind of like Risk Plus. I mean, Risk is where all of this comes from, baby. I fucking love Risk. Sounds like a sounds like a Scott ass board game. It 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 is aesthetically. There are so many amazing terms and there's so much amazing art in the game. It like and honestly, almost saves it for me. Diplomacy is a great game too. Yeah, Diplomacy is a great game for ending friendships. Yeah. I, have, I want to play it twice, uh, but it was it was an experience. Would you be a wild? Some man? people take it very personally when you lie to them. Yeah, and do it well. Yeah, that's kind of like uh, oh man, what's that social manipulation game that was like super popular? Not not one night ultimate werewolf, the other one. Uh, the one that we played all the time. Yeah, what the fuck's it called? Resistance. Resistance. The resistance. Or Avalon. I think we played the, the absolute one. shit out of the resistance. Yeah. Unfortunately, none of our female friends like to lie. Dude. They're all just like, I don't like the lie. Yeah, and it's just... like, it's so much fun. Though. That's why we can't play one night anymore. <laughs> it's like, I had such a big group for one night, and now everyone fucking, it's like, oh. <laughs> it's so frustrating. Anyway, I'm going to play Devotees of the Dragon. 
which is when a friendly NCU claims Sorge, replace that zone's effect with deploy one Freedman unit fully within long range of a friendly table edge or fully within short range of Marcel. Oh god, he's, he's making more dudes! Here we go! He has nine activations now. The thing's happening, boys! <laughs> Let me get out my box. I uh, did not have a unit ready. <laughs> I didn't fuck. I didn't even draw a single one of these last time, so I didn't think it was gonna happen. I had to play diplomacy for my seventh grade AP history class, got betrayed by my best friend, and absolutely fucked them on the next move. Wow, <laughs> Huddleston. My man. You still feel that, don't you, buddy? <laughs> Justice was wrought this day. Uh, Tim, <laughs> I will fuck you if you betray me. <laughs> uh, we uh, we played a game in grade school in history class where we were, we were all different uh, like clans in like Sparta or Greece or like, like I think, do you remember this? No. Like, like five people formed a clan and we had to like manage our resources. We had like, we were like sailing somewhere and we had to like land and make shelter and also like wage war if we wanted to be that kind of civilization. It was so fucking cool. Really? What the fuck? That sounds sick. It was fourth grade, fifth grade maybe? Wait, was I, wasn't in, your, was grade I wasn't in your goddamn school. I don't know if you had a similar program no, or something like that. that doesn't sound familiar to me at all. It was really cool. This is a noob question, but there are some miniatures that are inexpensive. It would be a good start for a noob. Are there some? Yeah, they're called uh, Green Army Men. No, I'm just kidding. Um, Fucking troll. <laughs> <laughs> are there some cheap ones? Yeah, I would say. Uh, um, hmm, what's a good? What's a good wreck? I feel like Reaper miniatures have a couple of good ones. If you look at the Black series and also some of their newer models, they're really they're pretty dang high quality. Yeah, the Bones Black are really Bones Black. There's a couple. Good. There's a couple of lines that have really solid models. Um, and they're like three bucks, five bucks a model. Honestly, yeah. it's it's pretty awesome. If you want to paint an army for cheap, this game is like probably the number one bet for that. Yeah. Okay. Within but, short range. Yeah. Of if you're time. looking for individual models, Marcelins. Over you. Devotees of the dragon. Finally getting to do the thing. The thing. You have both your. Unfortunately. Both your dudes. That is hurting a little bit. So I can just kind of chill right now. Um, what does this give me when it scores? Or does it have all Vicious. this time? While controlling, I am... Like, it does fucking anything to you. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Four plus, baby! <laughs> That's, I mean, it's still helpful. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it, it, it goes from impossible to fail to more possible. Like, I've definitely failed my fair share of five-up morale checks, so... <laughs> what do we got here on range? Are we within 12? We are. Let's Right on a war cry. So Ash is gonna war cry, start of her turn. She's gonna do it onto the commander's unit. Oh my god, we're rolling man. dice. There finally. it is, I Woo! failed it. <laughs> Dude, I fucking rolled a war cry with Cal Drogo against uh against Jim and got a four as well, and I was like, please kill me. <laughs> 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 and then rolled a charge with two chances on a three plus and got two twos. <laughs> <sighs> what a great yeah, way to start that fucking game. <laughs> so fucking bad, dude. Yeah, that sounded like it was a pretty rough day. And it was, it was vindication. <laughs> it was another moment of like, uh, watching him spend hours deliberating how best to kill me. And it's like, just fucking do it, my guy. <laughs> just kill me, <laughs> Just kill me, please. <laughs> <laughs> what you gonna do, boy? You feeling crazy now, you feeling kinda chill. I am feeling kinda chill. <laughs> I thought shit was happening. Um. Mm-hmm. All right. Um. I will. I'm so glad your work card didn't go off. What can you do? Cry. Sometimes the dice don't don't like to listen. To Cry you. of war. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll maneuver. I mean, you're not using his relentless. Yeah, I, I kind of want you to hit me, but I guess maybe I shouldn't do that because. Hmm. I can't threaten you right now, and you have the objective, and you're slower than me. You have two objectives, so you could just sit and win. I, so I need to be the aggressor right now. And so really. considering that, I could play NCU stuff and kind of like delay a game and see where you're going and stuff like that, but I don't think I need to do that. I think I can just let you hit me a little bit, at least. I want you to hit me as hard as you can. Hit me! Uh, it's not a new war game. I think it was a Kickstarter in what, 2018? 2019? Help me out, Evan. 2016? Um, 2016, that long ago. A Song of Ice and Fire? Yeah. 
that long ago? I think the Kickstarter was in 2017, but it's, I it's it's yeah, it's kind of it's kind of pretty old. Um, I'm gonna maneuver with my silenced men. How about yay? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, obviously, swordmasters can do a lot of damage, but I need to threaten you, and I can't. Uh... The wall's really helping me out right now. I'm loving it. Okay, so they're activated. Yeah. Do you have a card in your deck that acts as a assault orders? Yes. It's called We Do Not Sow. Does it allow your commander's unit to charge? No. no. If I was Vic commander, it would. Then it would, yeah. And then you'd have like two, essentially, right? You'd have assault orders and. I have assault orders and We Do Not Sow. Yeah, it's a it's a really strong deck. Yeah. But I never take Vic as a commander. I don't know why. I feel like that relentless to get buried. <laughs> yeah, no fucking shit, bro. <laughs> because when Vic dies, all of a sudden. You lose the game. Yeah. All right. Well, this is interesting. <clears throat> You've moved forward. Uh, yeah, it looks like the Kickstarter was 2017, by the way. Okay, nice. I'm going to. So we're uh, talking about shipping in 2018, early 2018. Sit and win? Is that like a rude thing to say? No. no. It's, just, it's just a. It's a fact of the game state right now. Oh, someone was thinking I was. You were being like rude about that. No. Um, How going, dare you try and win the game? I'm gonna activate this unit. And play Warcry when a friendly combat unit activates. I'm going to Warcry the Iron Makers specifically. I need a four plus. Can, can you also fail? No. Oh <laughs> no, baby! <laughs> Do you mind placing a Panic and Vulnerable on them? Absolutely. Um, and then I will move two inches backward. That was their activation. They still have Relentless. This is the most patient game of Song of Ice and Player, uh, Song of Ice and Fire I've played in like months. Normally I'm like, turn one, get in a position to fight, <laughs> kill, play. I knew that was coming. <laughs> I mean, you kind of had to when we played, because otherwise my ballista that would have just taken care of the whole game. So infuriating. Yeah. That game made me want to gouge my goddamn eyeballs out. <laughs> Oh, the the league breaking things was fun, but also very frustrating. <laughs> What's he gonna do? I'm so curious. Trying to slap the ideas out of me. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Let me see what a five inch move looks like. What are you doing right now? I like to have the ruler alongside the uh, move. Tricks because then it guarantees that I'm moving a straight line. Guarantees. All right. That's that's shootable. They don't they don't have Cripplo, right? So I ain't telling you. <laughs> they do not have Cripplo. They have no modifiers. They have no words. There's like it's, a, it's literally impossible for this unit to die in an activation, right? Because you have devastating impact. But that just gives me that just gives you like. Status. I can shoot and melee attack. Yes, they can die in one activation. Oh, because you can. I can free, free maneuver, move, six and shoot, shoot, charge. Very cool. And then you you do have the card that allows you to charge after destroying a unit as well as a generic Targaryen Overrun, card. Overrun, it's a uh, uh, generic Targaryen card. Yes, and it's not been taken out. Field control is taken out. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Scott's just like, I'm in danger. I'm not, I'm not in immediate danger, um, but I feel like I need to put myself in danger to, uh, to do something. To do something, yeah. Um, so I can go, ahead and go back five inches, so from 12 to seven. <sighs> okay. okay. Chad, we staying hydrated? Everyone nice and hydrated right now? If you're not, go get some water. The best thing on this on this planet, and drink some. I command you. Also, look at my very cool, special water bottle with a bear and mountains in the back of it. Admire it. Be jealous. Thank you. Okay. Hydro homies. I think I will. My boy Rufus. Okay, fine. I'll go get some water. Good boy or girl. Hydrate or dehydrate. You're goddamn right. I don't have. 
just these guys, and they still have their Relentless left. Yeah. I think what I want to do is... What I want to. want to pop up a couple inches, grab this objective. That was four inches. What does that give you? A pretty tasty seven-inch charge. Excuse me. Maybe we'll just, like... Actually... <laughs> Snuffy. Surprisingly, for a war game, this game has, like, uh, one of the easiest barriers of entry when it comes to cost. I'm actually not going to use their move. I'm going to use the very, uh, sorry, the Wendemir token at the beginning of the turn to do a three inch shift to okay. pop on that objective. Okay. So they sure. haven't moved yet. You just yeah. did the three inches then. Just the three so I watched inches. you move four forward and then I wasn't paying attention. I moved four forward okay. and then I moved back one. Cool. Yeah. Interesting. And then I got what looks like um, close to a seven inch charge, but not, maybe not exactly. Yeah, but right now you have a two inch move. That's true, that's true. Oh, you're saying in consideration for me charging you? Uh, yeah. Um, right, it wouldn't make sense for you to pick up the egg and then come charge me. That's what I thought maybe you were considering. I was confused. Um. Yeah, you can find used armies very easily, actually. I picked up a used army for Omega oh, Cheap. Hmm. I feel personally attacked, Mike. <laughs> What's my boy gonna do? Also, it was only like $400. Cry. If you fail a, pan or a charge, you have to do a panic test, right? Yes. Um... So, okay. Well, that's totally fair, Snuffy. I understand. I wasn't trying to like diss you or anything. I was just saying that when it comes to like Ninja War games, it's uh, on the cheaper side. Glad you're enjoying the new game though. We haven't even gotten like any fighting going on yet. We're just like tactically shifting around the board. Yeah. Not a whole lot going on at the moment. Um. I know. I, I don't. I don't uh, envy your position right now. Okay. Let's let's measure something out. Let's measure this out. Is this? We saw that was seventeen. Okay. okay. A Wendy shift and a shot. Like you shouldn't be able to get it with a Wendy shift. No, I should. I, I, I'm just out. But if I stay at seventeen, then I can. Um. So maybe maybe we'll consider doing that. Wait, you can what? Sorry. If I so I still have my activation. If I move up with my archers like an inch, and I'm 17 inches away or whatever, 16 inches away. Then you can Wendy shift use. We do not so if you have it. Exactly. Shoot, yeah. Exactly. Okay. And also not a charge at least right now. Right. Um, it's like your way of hedging against the charge, but also doing the thing that you're intending to do. It's, yeah. Yeah. You still Il Rio's been played, but Bax is open, but you don't have any NCU's left. No. So maybe I will just. I'll just sco scooch up two inches, Oops. which uh, from the center of my tray, it's about 16 inches, so that's that's doable at the moment. When you shift three inches plus two inch shift, plus 12 inches should get you there, yeah. Yeah, maybe you move closer to me like, like a nice person. I'd appreciate that. Wait, so I can be 15 inches away from you and not be threatened, right? Because... No, I have technically, so it'd be six, 12, I have 18 inches of threat range. If I get a six on the charge. Right, so yeah, but you couldn't shoot me and charge me, right? Uh, Free move, uh, if you're eight inches away, then you can, sh oh man, cause you can shift anyway. You really got yeah, more you're getting movement. You're right, I have, I have 20 inches, you're Holy right. shit. Yeah. The, the key is he only has 20 inches if you're already in short, he yeah. has to have a valid shooting But I can shoot something else, like for instance, your Iron Makers would be a very easy uh, yeah. target here to shoot on the side. Okay. Um, I'm, okay, okay, I'm, I'm okay with that. So I will do a maneuver with my archers and pass turn to you. Okay. Sorry, chat. Haven't played in a while. The models do look pretty damn cool for the quality of sculpts, you know? Also, hi, y'all. What up, Titans Advocate? They do look pretty cool. I like the low fantasy look of uh, A Song of Ice and Fire. I haven't activated with this unit yet. TwitchCon's 2017 badge. That's neat. Right now, one would fail. We haven't activated, so you would then hit back. They're on three pluses. Seven dice, any modifiers? Crit blow, and when you roll a one when making a save, you become weakened. It doesn't matter for them, though. Okay. How much are your makers? Seven? Yep. OK. 
Okay. Hmm. I just hedge some turns. I kind of don't want to use these freedmen in that way. Freedmen! I also don't want them to just run in there and die. I think we do got to burn it. Oh, I have Relentless still. I could burn a Relentless. You go first next turn. These guys are already done. They ain't moving. Maneuverability's gone. You do there will be no relenting. One Wendy shift, you can gain another by replacing a zone. Three, six, you're moving over that. Yeah, I don't want to move in such a way that I get you off of that and then I wouldn't get the bonus. Because if you come into me, I'm, I'm kind of fine with that. This is too far away, so maybe we just will activate this unit of Freedman. <coughs> So it'd be three plus two. Yeah, so I'll give you in there pretty easy. Look at that sexy panting shot, dudes, as far as I can see. Absolutely. So three plus two, charge would be four, if I'm measuring correctly. You can maybe turn and make it sharper. So we'll go like there, and that'll be my Freedman's activation. Okay. <laughs> Rain Unix spears down on those pirates. The spears are uh, a placeholder. <laughs> They're actually swords. You, uh, hmm. you don't, you, you don't see that. Okay. Um. Wouldn't be terrible. A lot of thinking this game, guys. <laughs> I've been somewhat quick, I feel. Thinking is very important. <laughs> Using your brain is In important. In war gaming. I did not measure that. Wait, is it 17 inches, five inch, three inch Wendy shift, and then 14 inches? Yeah, so that, that is that is killable, but then I'm basically consigning them to death. Um, well, they are weakened. I forgot about that. Um, yeah, so you'll only be able to weaken one of my shots, but they are weakened. Yeah, so. yeah. So I can kind of pick and choose based on how well you're rolling. But they're threes and threes, right? And they're shooting and they're Fours rolling. on the shooting threes on the melee. Okay. And then these guys have what? Four wounds? Six. Six wounds. Oh, that's nice. Six wounds. So they probably wouldn't die unless they failed a panic check, which is, you know, possible. You get six shots. I'd be vulnerable. They save on sixes, so you might kill them in one shot. Yeah, and then I could toss a pillage token on somebody, which would be nice. Um, I'm sorry, did I use Warcry this turn or last turn? It's this turn, You've right? You've already used it this uh, round. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm going to put a token on it, so I'll forget again. Okay. And then, where's my perfectly shaved down round marker? <laughs> <laughs> Freedmen also do have eight up morale, so they are likely to fail. Yeah, that they, would, they would more than likely fail that. Yeah, it's, uh, they have, I have six shots, though, so and I'm hitting on four, so it's like... You know, a average, I, I hit three, do I three see. wounds, and I are you going to roll three for your panic? You know, probably not. There's a chance they live, I get it. Yeah, yeah there's, I think there's pro it's probably like a 25% chance I actually kill them. Or I will say, chance. part of the list consideration is that I don't super mind if they die, because then you're buffing other things. <laughs> like, that's going to be buffed, and then they'll be one away from being right, so. right. Not that, you know, whatever, obviously you still want to kill them, I get it, but just yeah. making sure you understand that. Yeah. Yeah. Sad but true. I could shoot those guys and weaken them a little bit, maybe take a, take a rank off. I get super lucky and then they are a little bit less useful for their impending attacks. Um, so that's an option. Okay. Um, I will... Can I kill Jorah? Here's a question. Okay, so if I shift up, I think probably not. because Well, I did move a little bit, so maybe it's different now. So a five inch move on top of the tree looks like that. And then 12 inches of range looks like that. I was gonna say, I thought so, my consideration was that you couldn't, yeah. Yeah, I did, move, I did move a little bit more um, since we last met here. Yeah, but there should be no amount of distance moving forward that can get you the shot on him. Yes. Yeah. Like even if you were uh, like lateral with him. Yeah. 
What does Sigmar say about all this thinking? You have to use it as his own line. They don't want you to exercise. <laughs> what? That's what Sigmar has to say. <laughs> it's a little weird, but okay, we take it. I'm fuck exercising. Right. I fucking hate it. <laughs> Chill. It's cool. I think Sigmar is actually telling us to exercise, but that's what he's telling us. They don't want you to exercise. Oh, so Sigmar is saying, but you does. should. Get in the gym. Get those gains. <laughs> Swole cast, baby. You can't play miniature war games and go to the gym. I hate how true that is. <laughs> uh, Justin is the exception to that rule. Oh, true. Yeah. <laughs> I would love to also be an exception to that rule, but unfortunately, I'm a fat piece of shit. Oh, okay. Maybe... All right, I'm gonna put this card right here just to signify where they are. Sure. Um, I also have this movement trait backwards. Lol. <laughs> We're good players. <laughs> Pro as okay. heck. I don't like that. I don't think I'm saved though, because oh, it doesn't fucking matter. Saves you have, more. You have a fucking free move. So I'll, I'm trying to block line of sight for your shooting, uh, um, but it doesn't matter because you have a free You game. won't be able to block line of sight, yeah. Head just don't block shit. Yeah, for fucking real. Force just kind of doesn't either, if we're being honest. Yeah. All right, well. <clears throat> that was why I kept doing that double hedge rule, to actually make them useful. And that's why I wanted to gouge my eyes out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, don't know what to I will do. say, in case you have wiggled in such a way that I no longer can, I was within 12 inches with Jura before you did your work. And scout opening gives the next shot precision and... It gives the entire turn rerolls in precision on any attack. So it would give oh both my, my shot and my melee rerolls in precision. God! Is there supposed to be combat in this game? No, ah! there, there actually isn't. There, there actually isn't at all. Thank you for asking. <laughs> Does this game have fight sequence or is it just a one? What, did two people come in and just immediately both troll? What the fuck? <laughs> I mean, it's true though. Hey, I'm, I'm fucking, I'm doing my thing. I'm done walking in and dying and feeding. I gotta, I gotta play the game tactically. I've been, too, I've been feeding too much lately. That's fair, that's fair. Uh, I mean, Sigmar is also kind of a walking simulator. <laughs> the way to win is to not die. And there you go, you won the game. Yeah, it, this is called kill your friends, obstinately speaking, isn't it? Yeah. I'm gonna put Wendy on crowns. I'm gonna replace his own effect with uh, an order token on his card. Okay. Alrighty. Well then. Back to square one here. <laughs> Kill your friends. Mm. Squaring off menacingly against your friends. Menacingly. The eunuchs thirst for blood. <laughs> they really do. Are, 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 are Greyjoy as eunuchs? Yes, they are. All of them? No, no, yes. no, not Greyjoy. Unsullied. Uh, sorry. I just oh. said yes because I knew that was what you were yeah. implying, but yes. Oh, okay, okay. Mm. Starfish, I don't know what you're talking about. I think all the models are painted, dude. Just burn another Friedman. Check your eyes, bro. Yeah, you have you have moved them in such a way that I can no longer scout openings, but they were within scout openings. I think it's just because of the way you've angled it, not necessarily because of that, but that's fine. And you're you're saying that I can't I could I think you Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I could do a shot on them and do it. It doesn't matter. Two inches isn't gonna give me what I need. Ain't gonna get you what you need. Mm. Chad, how's it going on this Thursday evening? Are you guys feeling it? Are you feeling it? Are you feeling it now, Mr. Hobbs? <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna burn another turn here on my good old Raymond. They are so free. And you have another one of those cards. I do it indubitably. So you could have ten activations. You're goddamn right. Just playing free folk all over again. <laughs> Hmm, challenging. Somebody spilled a little bit of free folk in my Targaryen. <laughs> <laughs> it's Friday lunchtime and the weekend is close. Are you in Australia? Lunchtime? Pretty good Thursday. This shit is cinematic as fuck. All right, my guy. <laughs> Back to you. All right. So sorry. That was okay. Burning some activations, waiting for you to make a move. I will use Roderick's last token here to cycle five more cards. Just started a new job and have been missing all the Miniac streams, but glad I caught this one tonight. We're glad you're here too. Cornflake Justice, just dealing with college tuition cost shock. 
PA Gamer Dad. That's fucking right. Oh. Like, I know that life. It's not fun, especially because yeah, in June we're all gonna be feeling it. No, boys. Fuck school, bro. Dude, for fucking real. I still have goddamn nightmares about fucking not attending some class and then fucking failing it and shit. It's always the same class. Always the goddamn same class, dude. It's so fucking. What class is it? Don't know the name of it, but it was a uh, it was a proofs class with a specific uh, math professor that I fucking despised that I thought I needed for my math major. Only for us to then realize it was not needed, so I had to like beg him for approval to drop from his class. And it was very difficult to convince him, but I was like, "Look, I'm literally gonna fail. Would you rather me fail or would you rather me drop? Because I know which one I'd rather do." <laughs> he what grabbed we, you get? by the shoulders and said, "I want you to fail. <laughs> You're staying in my class." <laughs> there were there were twelve of us in that class, and in the first in the midterm exam, he. Uh, I think I think uh, the midterm exam without his like weighted scaling of of the, of the um, uh, grading I think like two of us passed or something like that out of twelve and uh, and then he said he wasn't gonna weight it and instead was gonna do something at the end I'm like nope I'm done I don't want to be in this class <laughs> I uh, took bags and with Roderick. Harlaw and remove vulnerability from my iron maker. Oh, we are just we're just burning turns here. You want me to do some? I can feel it. That's how it works. So what do you so what do you have? You have there are they activated? These they, are not activated. No, no, yeah, the bowmen. The bowmen. So, so you have relentless, which I'll kill. So you have two. You have two guys right now. Yes. Yes. It's four a.m. and I'm painting up cursed city, listening to grown men angle their toys. The angling is extreme. You thought angling was about fish? No. That's war gaming. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do a little bit of a. How many? You got one money token, so you could. I have two. I have two. I spent one this turn, and I also generated one this turn. Okay. I don't remember I asked this, but on the table gaming, I posted a vid about what the next edition of this game looks like. What changes people would like to see, etc. Do the boys have any thoughts on a Song of Ice and Fire 2.0 changes? That's yeah. a big topic. So it's like, what about the game? Do I, I want to see video. changed? The only thing I want to see changed about the game is like, like the kind of the only feel bad mechanic in it is doing. Um, it's just like it just it, it just it's just it's a weird way that it works out. Of course, there are like small like balance changes that are like in individual armies and stuff like that. But like for like a game wide thing, I feel like du du dueling needs to be just rethought out. Um, I don't want it to go away. I like the idea. Of you mean expert duelist? Expert duelist, yeah. Um, I, don't, I, I like I like the idea of it, but I think just like rolling a die on a three up, someone dies. I think it's just a little kludgy. It's not, it's not very graceful. And well, everything, the new patch is coming, and they might do something with expert toolist. They might. Um, and uh, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I'm not aware of the changes. Evan might be more aware than I am. I'm gonna do a two inch free maneuver, as such. Okay. Is there any scenario for the game? Yeah, there are eight scenarios. I think there. Are Ten. And Ten? Then one, one of them is the one that no one ever plays. Yes. The, the, the walls attack or whatever. the defender wall one. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna go right up against my guys here. Okay. Actually. Yeah. Drogo in particular is pretty feels bad because he's like, yeah, I have expert duelist. No, you can't use it on me. Yeah. That that's a very specific uh, situation. Yeah. Um, but it's not really a duel when a guy on a horse just rides by and fucking kills you. <laughs> <laughs> That's Drogo's thing, though. He just yeah. fucking kills everybody. Right, but quote expert duelist, and he's basically just ride by and like, "Hey, what's up? You're dead." I feel as though there's many armies that could have better internal balance. Specifically, obviously, I'm referring to Targaryen. I think a lot of their uh, I should not be showing you cards. Uh, a lot of their like cav units are like, "Okay, why are these even in the game?" Like, yeah. Like, why take any of their eight points? Well, vets are good, but why? Why like take blood riders over flayed men? Why ever take screamers ever? Why? Uh, I don't. Just I don't know. And like her cars like are five points, whereas like the frozen short chariots at four are just significantly better in every way, except for their defense. That is the only thing. But it's just there's so many. I don't know. So many. I don't know. I feel like the game could be better. You telling me you don't think outflank is worth one point? I know right? that is outflank is so fucking. It's bad. so fucking dumb. It's yeah. like the the fact that that's considered like worthwhile to like. But like, I wish her cars were a nice uh, way to pad my activations at a low cost, and they just feel not great. They feel I would I love the concept of the unit, and I want it to be better. I also want dragons to not be useless. Uh, I realize everyone fucking hates dragons, and that's fine. I understand. They definitely not, swung that pendulum too hard. Yeah. Too, too far in the other direction, right? It's like I don't want dragons to be oppressive, but I would like them to be balanced such that I can use 
like half the reason that I chose Targ was because they have they've got so, so many cool like fucking beasties, and I can't even use them because they're just not that great. They're still usable. Don't get me wrong. They're really good against armor. They're really good against just piercing like like against like Baratheon. I'd want a dragon for sure. So so talking about like 2.0 where they might change something like fundamental to the game. Here's my hot idea. I would like to see tactic decks fundamentally changed and built by your list rather than by the faction itself. Uh, if if every attachment you took added something to your tactics deck, the way that a commander adds three cards, if every attachment also added a card, mm-hmm. so you could customize your deck in a real way, would be a very cool change, I think. But that's the sort of thing that I think comes into play in a 2.0, not like a rebalance thing. Also, yeah, there should definitely be a Song of Ice and Fire skirmish game. Use your heroes' boxes and stuff and play, like, Kill Team, Warcry, whatever. I guess the problem with that oh, idea, that? which would be fucking awesome, it'd be a, it'd be a whole new game. Right? Yeah. It'd be like a... They'd be developing a brand new game, yeah. Simon's a game company. They can make a whole new rule set pretty easily. Come Probably. on. That'd be cool, though. I, I would definitely be interested in seeing that. Yeah, same. Um... Okay, I think really my only play right now um, is to Wendy shift and go for a pretty reasonable charge on your Spearman. Uh, you've activated both of your Freedmen, freedmen yes. so no gang up. And I go first next turn. Obviously, those guys are going to come in and be sausages. But maybe by that point, I will have gained a couple of pillage tokens. And with that combined with Baron Blacktide and the fact that I have... Um, uh, the like uh, got got rid of the vulnerable token. They're, they might be pretty tanky, so I think that's a play. They have the egg, so it's not very smart um, to like just give it up. But I don't have any other options, and I kind of don't want to just sit here and fuck around. I want to kill something. This kind of always makes me lose the game, though. <laughs> that's why I've been playing the way I have because I know <laughs> I know that I always play in the I just want to fucking kill something mode, and then I always lose. And I'm just like, okay, nothing no, but no, aggro no. in this studio. Play a little more strategically. Sometimes you also gotta play with the cards you got in your hand. And I feel like I have some okay cards. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna Wendy shift forward three inches. Let's gotta listen to the points. <laughs> it's sadly looking like the babyest three inch die roll instead of a two uh, die roll, but. Oh, I see what you're saying. <laughs> I Did you a, angle though? Maybe cut that some. I don't know. I don't know. It's like hard to do this accurately, right? I, know. I mean, like that. Like the corner. Oh, fuck. The corner of is here actually there. Is I think you're right. I think you don't gain any distance in that way. I feel like I shouldn't, but I am. Like if it. So it's not like this side of the ruler is touching, and then that side is. Like both sides of the ruler are touching. So does that mean that I? I don't know. I'm this gaining? is a very tight. Why don't you just roll a d6? What What's or, the or question we, here? Well, because also, like, obviously, when you're shifting it, you didn't shift it perfect, and then exactly, like, it, I don't know. When Sorry. When you pivot a tray, your corner does move closer, so you can reduce the the distance for a charge slightly. But I also get what he's saying because it's like the corner of his corner is going to hit the corner of the ruler, which. I think if I'm staying on the same side of the ruler, then it's okay. When the problem yeah. is like when I'm measuring and like well, yeah, yeah, that over there yeah, is yeah. the issue. I I would think that at the tiniest little sliver that you had of three, that the way you've turned now should make it two. Okay. So I would call it two. All right, I'm gonna go for the charge. Curtis is being courteous, <laughs> as his namesake suggests. What a good one! And uh, ones fail. We're in. Wouldn't have mattered. There you go. And I feel like. Their relentless is still up, right? Indeed. So, if I go base to base, what does this look like here? Rel- I can't charge on relentless, just so you know. That's true. I want to shift over, but I don't think I can shift over because of the way you placed it. I don't them. believe so. But I don't want to be near those guys, so I'll be I'll go base to base. So I have vicious crit blow. Chad, we're fighting. We're rolling dice. Here we go, baby. Don't have any cards to play on this charge, unfortunately. Um, that's okay. Um, and I'll swing. Uh, I have seven attacks. Oh, the re-rolls on the charge. What a beautiful mechanic, you know? <laughs> what a beautiful mechanic. All right. Looking for threes? Uh, looking for threes. With crit blow. With crit blow. Oh, god, god. damn, my god. <laughs> <laughs> Raw 
off to a good start. They're off to a very good start. Uh, we'll keep the fours. I'm not feeling particularly risky. We roll the one miss into uh, nine hits, okay. sir. If only the war cry worked. Only the war cry worked. Hell fucking no. Okay. Um, nine saves at four plus is what we're looking at right now. No sunders. So yeah, just uh, straight up. Over if you roll any ones, you become weakened. Doesn't really matter for this objective. Nice rolls. Thank you. So four wounds. Oh, I guess that was pretty much even. So, so I mean, far... I'm, I'm happy with that roll. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it could have been much worse. Uh, so far, getting one pillage token. Okay. And then uh, panic. Check with... Uh, it's panic at minus two because it's vicious, but plus one because of that weirwood tree. Five plus. Hey, it. Did not even come close. And not every time even. that I pass a morale test, I gain one wound back. Nice. Thanks to Dauntless. Cool. So I'm back in four ranks. Very good. Very good. <clears throat> Chat, we did it. We fought. No one gets to complain now. <laughs> I need to pee. <laughs> you can take a pee break. I can you entertain have, Chat. You have uh, one activation left. Correct. Right? Okay. I do. All right. And David to play. There's always blood, it's just inside the bodies. <laughs> Panic at the war game. Combat over, now settle in for another three hours of, yeah, <laughs> fucking around. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I think once a player and song kind of commits, yeah. then everything else everything, starts to fall into place Everything a starts bit. happening, yeah. <laughs> Agreed. What is, you have the, what does this do? Once there's one for every two blocked, okay. Hey, yeah, that. it's pretty. It's pretty cool. It's just always so. Yeah. Like all of my attacks. Okay. The one nice thing about the Dauntless bringing back one guy though is that when I chop that one guy down, I get the second pillage token. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm fine with that. I'd rather have the wound back. Honestly, of course. Yeah, it's just a. It's but a nice silver lining is, for me. That is true. Yeah. Okay. So I mean, that's like obviously. Um, I got a piece of bad. Holy shit. They've already moved. Obviously, they can shoot me next turn. I think that is even with a winding shift, an incredibly long charge. So, um, cool. Holy shit. Not 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 my real dad. I need to pee. Um I am going to attack you with this unit. Okay. Um Good lord. I need to pee. Um okay, so I'm attacking with this unit. I get eight dice. Let's see, two, four, six, eight. Eight dice. Um, what do I Precision want? and rerolls, right? Yeah, I'm just thinking about the order with which I want to do this. How do you want to do this? Um, I don't see why that would, I don't think it's going to matter. Actually, it will, it will. I'm going to, okay, I'm going to play, um, Sudden retreat after the end of your turn and retreat one inch. And then I'm going to uh, activate my vets instead um, and move six inches, uh, which two inch shift gets me in range. Uh, so, I mean, just do the two inch shift. Definitely within six, and I'll do a ranged shot with seven dice. Two, four, six, seven. Um, hopefully I'm not messing something up here. Uh, so this is my quick fire order, one ranged attack because I did a maneuver. Um, seven dice, looking for fours. In your flank, missed a whole bunch of them, but did get two. Okay. So two saves to you at minus one. one. So we're at a four up now because of the uh, pillage second give me plus one to the save. So five? Uh, no, four. I'm at three up right now. Minus they started four? I see. Okay. Yeah, I started four. Got looking, looking for fours. Got one, and then the one reduces so to zero. Goes, does nothing, right. Okay, then I'll charge. Um, I will roll just four re-rolls and such. Got a six, we're mega in. Omega in. Uh, Chat, we're doing it, we're killing each other. It was a little unfair. No, he didn't run away. He just did a sudden retreat so that he could shoot into the combat without suffering any issues. Now... He would have healed another one, though. That's possible, yeah. 
Wait, what? With Dauntless, if you passed a morale check, you would have healed again. Oh, because I would have like had to. That is interesting. I could have done that. Yeah, yeah. Um, I need another solo tray. I didn't think about this. If I'm like aligned 50% here, can I put a guy in here? It looks like the answer is no. I feel like. I, this is definitely an, an Evan question. This, this, right. this, this I can't see, so. This is the bullshit that I never understand I about. Gotta pee. But. It looks like the answer is no, so I'd have to like align 50% this way, which I'm not gonna do. So um, we'll do as such. Holy guacamole. Two, four, six, seven with re rolls, three plus. Oh, I understand what your question was. Yes, the solo trees are slightly wider than yes. 50%, which is, is that, a production that's error. Is that, that, is that by design? It was it was something that happened accidentally and oh. is now part of the rules of the game. If only I had if only I had precision uh, from Jura. But I guess the rerolls would nullify that. Uh, five hits, five saves to you at minus one. So. Five saves at minus one for a four up again. Looking for forks. Got three. There's two, so one dies. Okay. Ugh. Panic check at minus one, right? Cause or do you have like vicious or something? Minus one, but plus one. Right? Yeah, I think you're in range of that tree. Yeah, yeah. So, so we're looking at fives. I pass on a five, luckily. I will use the panic to make you re-roll the three. A three, okay. We're still good. Okay. On a five. <laughs> Curse make me nervous. I got pee so bad. Uh, okay. I suppose I will pee while it's your turn. Okay. Cool. Um, that was their activation. I will be right back. I wish the green screen drawing thing would ever work. How far? The bathroom is um, incredibly clo uh, close. All right. Um, with Curtis gone, uh, I want to talk about this. So I had a lot of cards in preparation for him doing way more damage to me. Like Lash Out, What Does Demi Never Die, which is why I made the comment about Sometimes you gotta play with the cards you have and the opportunities that you made for yourself. And obviously charging my objective holding unit down the center of the field probably wasn't the smartest thing to do. Um, but with the cards I had and, and how tanky the unit was and hoping that I would um, get at least one pillage token, I felt pretty okay about it. Um, and so far, this is not an issue at all. Obviously he's gonna run in and charge me with his, his uh, sword masters. But again, I still have Lash Out. I still have What is Dead. I still have a three-up armor save at the moment. He does have Precision, which is very nice for, yeah, that's the big for, scary for heavy thing armor. Them. That's very nice. And they always re-roll and, and always can re be weakened. That's, that's a, it, it's, you know, of, of the eight-point units in the game, I feel like Sword Masters and Flayed Men are like actually like really worth it. Sword Masters are seven. Now, the one problem that Curtis did is that he moved his horses away from Jora, And so now, because I have the first turn next turn, I believe if I just march, which I can only go nine inches, especially with a Wendy shift, Jora's dead. Top of turn one, turn three. So I'll do that. I'm just gonna do a nine inch march straight up and just eat that man alive. I think they can hold on for a while with the cards that I have in my hand. So yeah, we'll do that. All right, so my activation, Curtis, was I just marched my Reavers up. Okay. What do you say, Chad? What do you say? What's the strat? I was just talking about how I mentioned the cards I had in my hand and how that enabled the strategy that I'm trying to do right now, even though it is kind of less optimal to be having my objective holding unit this far forward. Let me oh. see. Um, yes. Are oh, you charging? You're going for Jorah? I see it over there. Okay. Um, Let's look real quick. Sure wish the vets had done more than one wound. Okay, um, top of my turn, I'm gonna do when a friendly unit is performing a charge action before rolling, rolling charge distance dice, uh, devastating impact. Yeah, that's gone. You're gonna become panic and vulnerable. I get to reroll distance, but it doesn't matter. Uh, and then we'll come in. Is that when you're charging? Yeah. So, so if you had failed your charge, would it still be useful? Uh, yes, because it's before rolling okay. charge distance okay. dice. Nice. So this is back on them. Yes. Um, and then we'll do no damage here as well. <laughs> <laughs> we have precision, so... True. If it goes through and the armor... Weekend. Um... It is not. Wait, does precision... This doesn't block precision? Then, no. Is what you're saying? Okay, cool. Precision 
We're just gonna re-roll for sixes then, I think. So I'm rolling eight dice here, two, four, six, eight. Yeah, two. Not bad, not bad. Question is, do I do I re-roll for sixes? I feel like I should. I yeah, was, you just said you were gonna. I don't know. They weren't going to. We're gonna re-roll everything for sixes. Ten kept telling me to do it last night, and I was like, I'm doing it. Uh, I mean, I'm happy with that result. Um, so three auto wounds. Okay. And then four saves with no modifiers. Three auto wounds, four saves, and three up. Space Marine saves. Got them all. Cool. I still get your token, though. You do. Which is what I really wanted. Well, hold on. When does, when does that actually... I don't know. Uh, but you also have to do a... Oh, reroll all your saves because of vulnerable. Okay. Um, rerolling all my saves because of vulnerability. I uh, failed one. Yeah, so it doesn't matter. So one guy dies, but I'm making a panic check, so. No, that guy doesn't die, right? Because of Oh, your, you're right, you're right. Your yeah, yeah. Um, I will play after you've swung at me, lash out. I'm Kay. missing one rank, so you suffer two wounds. So I guess the question this is. This is why you're asking. He still, yeah. he still takes the token because it's an after attack effect. He had more ranks when he completed the attack. He resolves is the attack first, which is taking the token. Then you play Lash Out. No, he's right, because this says after the attack. Ah, okay. So if, if what he's saying is true about the thing uh, calculating, uh, then, uh, yeah, it would happen after, at the very end of the attack. Okay, anyway, panic check. Panic check? And no modifiers. Well, plus one to you, actually, because of the tree. Looking at a four. We pass it with flying colors. But we roll the six. The six? Fortunate. We're good, still on a nice seven. On a one. <clears throat> Okay. And are you going to play Lash Out? I did. Oh. Okay, so I lose two guys. Two yes. dudes. Okay. That doesn't count, though, as you gaining a post token, though, right? Uh, no, because it's after a melee attack. Uh, okay, your turn. Um, I have nothing left. I mean, I can do this, and mm, you can you mm, can say mm. that you nullified it, but, you know, I'll just give you the card Sorry, back. Sorry, I didn't ask for... Uh... <laughs> hey, he could let it go off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want to let it go off? Yeah. <laughs> go ahead. Friendly game. He's blowing up. <laughs> uh, we will. Mm. I have my relentless. That's all I have left right now. I want to like. Oh, I mean. Am I able to play a card at the start of any turn? I will. So yeah, at, the start yeah. of, at the start of my turn, I will play Black Tide Resentment. When, then I'll do this. You'll nullify it. But at least I can put that card out there. Well, you you wouldn't be able to do both. Can't, in the same but it's turn. fine. Start oh, you're turn, right. So it doesn't matter. But you okay. can do yeah. Start I'll of just any do that turn instead can, yeah. of the Vic Relentless thing. Then. Military breach of destroyed rings. Jesus Christ. Okay. God damn. It's a really good card. Yeah, you don't say. <laughs> yeah, Black Tide Resentment. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna shuffle like right over here. Basically, I'm gonna do a little, just a little bit. So right up against my guys here. Okay. Okay. And I think I'm not activated out. All right, cool. So that ends turn two for right. our game, and now we're into what you say? Round two. Whatever. <laughs> uh, what's a different word I can use for turn and round? I don't know. It's round. Uh, <laughs> I, I want to tilt Evan. He's fucking annoying me. Yeah. Same. Uh, they're vulnerable, and I gain three VPs. Okay. Three VP. That's a pretty good round. All right. These guys come away. Eh. Also, this goes away as well. That stays. Thank Jeeb. So. You have a lot of options available to you, my friend. I do, I do. Um, I don't want to get rid of any cards. I not need them. This one is, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll drop. I'll drop this one. I have no cards. So maybe even this one. I'm gonna, you have I'm a gonna, guy on the board still. Yeah. Just so you know. He's gonna stay there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay. <laughs> as long as I can keep the card on this unit. <laughs> All right, y'all. <laughs> um. Hmm. Okay. All right. So, um, excursion three. All right. I'll use that. 
There is, is a penalty for going over the hedge. I lost an inch in movement when I did it. I only went nine inches when I did my march instead of the, the fatty ten. The wall also gives defenders uh, bonuses to Take saves on charges. So I could swing with swords with the Iron Makers, get that uh, pivotal Baron Black Tide buff out there, which I believe is a big reason why they survived. Um, in the first definitely time. contributed. <laughs> I think uh, they actually might have survived even without it. <laughs> yeah, possibly. You didn't roll super well with the shooting attack. I think right. Because then I was able to just very easily use the weekend <coughs> on that one thing. I could basically guarantee that I insta-give Jora, um, which is nice. I gain the objective. I gain a VP for killing a unit. That's pretty huge. Um, I'm curious where you're going to put your, your dumb... I mean, I know where you're going to put him. I know where you're going to put him. What, Barry? Yeah. Barry's going on them Iron Makers. Sure. Sure. Sure, man. We'll see. I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> I feel like charging the vets in there was not to play. Well, obviously, in hindsight, because I saw the damage that they did, but um, it's just unfortunate that they did so little because now they're in a very vulnerable position. Yeah, the other thing I could do is I could charge the vets with my reavers right. um, in the rear, which would be or, pretty good. Or shoot on the flank or you know any of that good stuff. Yeah, all, all good plays. So killing the vets is like removing a major powerhouse in your army. Killing Jora is kind of like playing the objective a little bit more. Um, hmm. I'm not sure what the best move is. Um, what's First of all, what does this charge look like? Um, without using a Wendy shift. It's like, it's like seven and a half inches, so maybe a three, so it's not really worth risking it. Probably should just use the shifts and kill him. Um, or hope to kill him, maybe he lives. He's got four wounds though, right? He's not, he's three. Not, he's got three wounds, okay, this guy's gotta die. I think, um, you, yeah, I think you'd probably safely kill him. Yes. Well, it, it, the one bad part right now is that I have no pillage tokens on them, so I think I'm forced. Ooh. So that isn't great, but I do get rerolls, which is nice. Um, you don't lose that because of the hedge. Uh, I don't. I don't think so. I think this makes okay. me uh, lose that. You lose got it. that. Yeah. We can verify. You are correct. I think you're right. Yeah. Hedge is line of sight and minus one to the move. Okay. Yeah. I. Uh, it feels bad to not open up with an NCU, but due to the game state, I think this is okay. Play. I'll do a three inch Wendy shift with the Reavers. And then I will charge. Okay. And this is definitely an auto in. Um, yeah, I'm at like four inches, probably less with some shenanigans. Yeah, no, you're, you're definitely auto in. For sure. Got a four incher. Full line like so. Um. Off of the defender's tray. <laughs> uh, Someday we'll get there. What am I doing wrong? Your edge should be aligned with the center of his tray. That's backwards. Yeah, that's the problem. I'm backwards right now. <laughs> <laughs> so the center of my tray. So either, so you either would need to be as such or as such. Correct. Oh, the side of my. Oh, this is. Even, I mean, this is better for me. So I, I will. I'll do this. Yeah, you always align off of the defender's measurement, not the attacker's. Gotcha. Gotcha. Thank you. All right, we'll just swap some dudes. Can I say what a model of gamesmanship y'all are on his thoughts and answers about strats and what plays are most effective in a given moment? I mean, that's just kind of how Scott and I play. That's how we've been playing since we since we've started Very playing first games started, like, yeah. Yeah, like a year and a half ago. I've always liked that way of playing games. Yeah, just because, I don't know. I'm also a verbal processor. I'm kind of realizing this. I, is that I really kind of figure things out while talking about them. But also it's like enjoyable to like discuss those kind of things with the person you're playing with. Otherwise it's just like like, you know. Part of this is like we're hanging out with, you know, with, with our friends and playing games. So part of it is like the enjoyment of discussing strategies back and forth and what you're thinking. For sure. That's why I like to sit in total silence when I'm playing oh. with people that aren't my friends. Total <laughs> silence. All right, we are swinging. We're hitting on fours with rerolls. Solid roll. A lot of fours so far. A lot of, yeah, that was over half. <laughs> we appreciate that. Reroll because I am charged. And that's, that's also a big part of the consideration is because since we're doing the stream, obviously we want there to be some engagement and that's... 
It's a great way to do that. Yeah. All right, how many saves am I doing? Five? You're doing five, so he is, he's definitely... Jora, you're livable here! He's definitely livable. You're livable, my boy! Oh, do you mind if I war cry at the start of my turn? I'm not gonna war cry him. Yeah, yeah, go for reach. it, go for it, go for it. I'll war cry the Spearman. Sure. That doesn't go off. Woo! <laughs> what can you do? What can you do? Oh, fucking love that. All right. Oh no, it does go off because I have a four. I have a four. I think that's only for panic tests. Not for no, it is for all morale. It's all, and it might have gone off the first time too, because of the fucking tree. Oh, it might have. Fuck! Those spearmen would be so much more dead right now. Okay, whatever. It does. I believe it does go off. I'm checking just because I want to know. I've got it right here. The tree. I, mean, I also literally have. Chat. It. Why didn't you guys yell at me? Inspiring. About the tree? While within short range of this terrain piece, morale units test, gain plus yeah. one to morale test. Right? Oh, so that goes off. God. Uh, can you give me panic and vulnerable? I fucking hate that. Jora, my boy, looking for fours. Come on, baby. Looking for, oh, he's dead. Anyways. He did indeed die. That's a veep for me. Plus the stuff. And I will not overrun, but is it called overrun? Search forth. Search forth. I will uh, pivot and move a measly two inches. Rip Bozo. I mean, if I'm being genuine, better than them charging into the rear of my vets. So, you think so? Uh, you think that was the less? I don't know. I, I don't know. know. Well, I guess we'll find out, won't we? That's my personal opinion immediately. But I'm inclined to agree with Curtis, but I don't really know for sure. Depending. I on also how don't know. Shake out. See, the thing is, I'm scarred by AOS. Not playing the objective just loses you the game. Yeah. <laughs> Every turn, if you're not playing it, you're fucking losing. Pretty much. Uh, you control more objectives. Cool, you get bonus points for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. It's like, yeah, playing playing the objective like it like escalates the more you have it. Uh. So uh, one thing I want to tell you is, if you had just swung with those spearmen and kept the uh, horses where they were, I wouldn't have been able to do that play. And so I was like, fuck, I have nothing to do with these reavers because if I. Just march up ten inches. You just ass blast them yeah, with these guys. With the best, yeah. yeah. And I thought about that only after I came back from peeing and saw ah. that you had marched them forward. I'm like, oh wow, I really did leave Jorah vulnerable to you just marching forward. Yeah. And I, I kind of didn't consider that. I just really, you know, obviously you've moved forward on me. I'm like, okay, I should then kill. You know what I mean? So. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Some thoughts to be had here. I obviously would love to take swords and. Swings so that you can't um, you use the swords myself, yeah, right? Yes. Yeah. But I also would love to. Oh, there's letters. There's a lot of good options left. I think even with Panicked and Vulnerable, you don't kill me in a swing. No. You might have some things that would help you. Yeah. But no, I think you're right about that. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. I think, I think I should take swords. I think I should be aggro. Okay. I want to do Illyrio, weaken you, heal me, but I don't think that's a play right now. Um, and I would love to get my Freeman in there to gang up, but I also don't think that's the play right now. You're saving on threes right now? Yes. Unless you're hitting me with a flank, then it's fours. They're activated. They have no way of getting in because your card does not allow them to charge. Correct. You can shoot me in the flank. Which also gives me rerolls. Reminder, with, the, with okay. these bowmen. Okay. Um, Pretty nice. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I think they said three words in two hours, which were a good game. The other might be get banned. Wait, what, what, what are we talking about right yeah, now? what are we talking about? I'm so confused. <laughs> we were talking about a different uh, stream? where I said, when I play people that aren't my friends, I just sit there in silence, oh, right. <laughs> which is expressly not true. But uh, they were like, don't joke about that. That happened at a Blood Bowl tournament. Yeah. Yeah. Do you do we want to think a little bit? Because I can, I can, I have things I can talk about to the stream. I think you, you can talk, but I am ready. OK, go for it. I'm going to play a supply aid, start of a friendly turn. Uh, and I'm going to target um, this combat unit to suffer wounds to give to this one. Okay. Um, and it's wounds plus one, right? Indeed. So if I did three, I'd get four. Uh, do I want that? I could do two and just get three. That seems like a good amount. Yeah. I'm just thinking how much I want to do. I don't know if these guys are going like, to get in combat at all. Vic is probably going to come at them. He's going to have to charge through that, which is going to help me. Yeah. Um, Something died, so all of this is okay. So they can I have an order token? Yes. Bitta, and they now have plus one attack die and minus one wound from failing panic tests. Which, in hindsight, wish was on this unit, but obviously I didn't know who would be engaged and who wouldn't. Right. Yeah. Um, Damn, nine dice on three. I know. And re -rolls. That's Fucking scary. nice, right? <laughs> it's scary. Um. Dothrake. 
many ideas in my head right now about what so I So many. Do. Allow hey. me to shill. Oh, okay. You want to ready to go? Shill, 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 shill. Uh, if you guys are enjoying this stream, there are many ways to support it. Uh, and supporting this stream goes a long way. And maybe happening, having more streams happening, increasing the production value even more. You can do that by picking up one of these shirts, which you can find by typing in exclamation mark goodies. In the channel, you can also sub to the channel using your Amazon Prime sub, which you get by hooking up your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account and subbing to one free channel a month. Or it doesn't re-up. You have to re-up it yourself manually every single month. We appreciate your Prime subs. Thank y'all for the support. I'm going to take, I think, the full three. Okay. You're going you're gonna to come in with Vic and you're going to... But you, you'll have to... How many money tokens do you have? None. I, I used the last one to get that to guarantee that charge. Well, goddamn. Well, god diggity damn. They have a movement of five. Does the wall slow them down in any capacity? Negatory. I, Denies them rerolls, and it gives you plus one to the defense dice if he touches it during the charge. That's still a nasty charge. Do you have a card that gives you an auto six on the charge? Nope. That's in fixed deck. Okay, I think they're doing good right there then. So I am gonna do what I just described. Um, Supply aid. Get some jabronis back. Thanks, Crisp278, subscribing with Prime. Two hey! In a row. Thank you, Chris, for the Prime stuff. We appreciate it. Cornflake says, I know you've talked a bit about not being into doing a paint collab. Wait, really? But as I sit here desperately eyeing the Ninja and Vinci V Pro Pro bundles, would you please reconsider? <laughs> I think what it comes down to is I want to use a paint range that I like. It would feel like a shill if I just picked any range that was available to me because I don't really use Pro Acryl. So scale 75 would be like an option for me. So I was kind of thinking about this. I was like, what if I made a scale 75 paint set? And the dumb thing would be that I would just pick a bunch of colors that are already in the range. Because <laughs> like I developed my style around the colors available in that range. There's nothing that I'm like wanting for because everything that I want came from that range. On um, the other hand, you could do a Scott's Pick pack type thing. That is true. That is true. You know, because Scale 75 really likes to sell their sets of like 10 paints where yeah. you buy like, hey, you want these flesh tones or sci-fi set or whatever. Exactly. The Miniac Signature Pack could be like your 10 favorite colors or whatever. Uh, yeah. Gucci-licious. Thanks for the Prime sub. Currently on a four-month streak. Can't believe I missed the first two hours of song. I've been waiting for the stream. Oh. You're here now, Gucci. We love you, bud. And we'll you can also, always catch up yeah, watching catch the VOD. Catch up on the VOD, exactly. Oh, yeah, the VODs. The VODs are available on Twitch channel. And also, they're now. We are fully caught up with making thumbnails, and we should never fall behind again unless I die. <laughs> um, which, <laughs> That will, that will stop the uh, not being caught up, though, because we'll stop making yeah. videos. Probably. Yeah. Boys, no, I'm, you guys got to keep this going if I'm, I die. Okay? I'm rolling dice right now. Roll All right, dice. roll your dice. I'm done being awkward. What are you doing? Standing here. Ro attacking with, with these guys. I okay. took swords. I'm attacking. Cool. Oh, uh, you took swords? Precision rerolls. Uh, berry block. Looking for, <laughs> looking for threes. What I really want is sixes. So I think I may reroll everything. Just because you have a nice save, even regardless, uh, without the uh, without the halves. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Do I reel everything? I think I'm going to. Odds are great to watch when I'm supposed to be working. <laughs> He's going for it. I didn't get any goddamn sixes on two fucking rolls, dude. That Jesus fucking Christ. Was... Four. Sorry, man. Four saves. No, it's good. Sorry for bitching. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, dude. We can we can commiserate. With, <laughs> you know. Looking for threes, all but one. I do have. I don't have vulnerability on me, no. so uh, this will become a wound because yes. uh, I don't have. Don't you have man. hardened on him? Was that? Don't no. you have hardened? No, that was last turn. What? Um, all right, so I'm making a pan check of hardened in his commander's unit, which is the reavers. You're thinking oh. of the influence that he had. Okay, Baron. Yeah, yeah. that's why I thought uh, that, I thought his commander was in there. You pass. No, 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 stop, stop, stop. Don't pull it out. I, I won't, have I won't, I won't. vicious because of this. So okay, so uh, I, I, I did fail. Your natural is five. I failed. Minus two plus one, so you did fail. Yes. So, God, I wish you had fucking vulnerable and panicked on you right now. But that's fine. Uh, we'll, we'll take those. <laughs> we, we fucking take right, those. Yeah. A little extra damage. Take every little wound we can get. Never bad. Okay. Over to you. What do I want to do now? I don't know. <laughs> All I know is fuck this goddamn unit. <laughs> I think attacking them isn't terrible just because um, it reduces the uh, effect of their future swings. The NCU board is fucking wide open uh, for all kinds of crazy shit to happen. The world um, is your oyster. Yeah, it's your fucking oyster. Um, I could walk Vic up with Relentless and threaten a charge and maybe make you charge me instead, which then still gives me the same slots that I have now while also keeping them alive longer because maybe you wouldn't swing at them. I don't know. Um, I could shoot the guys in the flank, which is kind of sus. Uh, I 
A lot, of, a lot of interesting options. My cards are okay, not terrible. And you took swords, right? Oh, yeah. yeah, beautiful shot, boys. Woo! Oh, a little, little shake there at the end. <laughs> yeah, the table does shake a little bit. The table? That was the table? I thought it was the cam. Oh, it might have Maybe been the, it was table. the table. It's definitely the table, yeah. What does this do for me? Plus one hit, plus one attack die. Nice. That is not bad. Okay. I could swing. Oh, I could also heal them, which is not a terrible idea either. Just gotta make them stick around for even longer. Sure, yeah. Um, yeah, why not? Um, yeah. I will put Roderick on bags. No, no, sorry, not Roderick. I will put Baron on bags, and I will do this. Yeah, I'll block it. Okay. Heal back three. No condition tokens to remove, so just get the three bodies back. And back to you. Um, Black Tide Resentment comes off of them. Oh, fuck that. So I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that then. Just kidding. No healing. <laughs> reverse. 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 <laughs> <laughs> um, I could take letters and weaken someone, and that would... Can that... weaken my Thor's Masters. That's true. Well, I, I can mean, put a token on You could. <laughs> but I can never expend it. <laughs> my name's Evan. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Evan. I had to. I hate you. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. I'm always down for Evan ribbing. <laughs> <laughs> People get frustrated when you're always right. Yeah. But they do. Does it change the fact that you're they always do. right? That isn't the case for you, but that, that would be frustrating if that were the case. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, I could get a Wendy uh, token. That's an option. I could do some maneuvering. Okay. I think what I'm going to do. What he's going to do. I think I'm just going to swing with Iron Makers. But okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the Iron Makers on um, who has a worse save? These guys do, right? Uh, indeed. Yeah, but eight wounds takes a rank off, and three wounds takes a rank off there. So we'll hit six. Uh, eight. But still, oh, it's three wounds apiece. You're right. You're right. Um, Chris, yeah. I think you should kill more things. I'm fucking trying. <laughs> I'll swing. I'll swing on those jabronis. You got it, boy. Um, I will uh, play Kraken's Wrath, and you control swords. So. I give get rerolls in precision. Of course. Um, and they are down a rank, so Black Tide Resentment um, gives me plus one attack and plus one to hit. And so I have five attacks, that's six attacks hitting on twos with crit blow and precision. Okay. Holy shit. Roll a bunch of sixes again. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> There's two. Um, because I have a two up, I'm just going to reroll everything because. Yeah, looking for the sixes. Yeah. Why not? There's another one. All right, so you're, that... You have Cripple and Precision? Yeah, so that's three auto wounds, yep. and then... Six saves. Um, six saves. Is it six saves, or is it nine saves? It would be three of those nine saves were auto wounds. Oh, right, right, six saves. You're totally right. <laughs> I get a pillage token for taking out a rank. Okay! Oh, you... I could bury that. But I've already seen the results, so I can't do it. Okay, wait, wait, wait what, what could you bury? I could have buried the tactics cards you just played on that attack, and I didn't consider it until after you. Oh, yeah, because I've already seen. He could, he could have buried Kraken's Wrath. Yeah, oh. I've, already, I've already seen the results, so I'm certainly not going to. I'm sorry, I, 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 I absolutely gone slower. Uh, should have done it though, because now I'm going to. I would have. Now I get another turn to attack you back without you putting that influence on there, which was the whole point of blocking with Barry. Uh, regardless, it's not your fault. I should have. Uh, I didn't think about it. In fact, I didn't think about it until right now, so it kind of doesn't matter. I probably wouldn't have thought about it enough time. Regardless, here we go. Uh, six rolls. Looking for fours. Reroll all the saves yes. with the vulnerable. Cool. Uh, four. Another rank, but you're already full. Panic at minus two plus. Wait, do you have vicious? No. I don't. So plus one, so three. Just don't need the snake eyes. We're good. You get the thing back. You burn. Oh, did you want me to reroll the? No, no. Yeah. If you had a better panic damage, maybe. maybe. But yeah, no, this is my... I'll take it's your. I'll, you. I'll take your token. This is gone. <laughs> <laughs> um, cool. All right. That was their activation. Okay. Still a lot of good options on the tactics board. You could. I guess you could heal. Yes. That's an option. I'm not really at threat right now unless you have. Um, we did not sow what you may. Got another supply aid somewhere as well, which is always nice. I wished I have a card called Rating Call, which I wish was just supply aid. 
But I guess I have another benefit where if someone has bags, I get to give someone a pillage token. So I guess there is something else. What up, chat? I might check this game. I know there's a large community in my area. It looks fun. Is it a standard size game? What does that mean? It's played on a four foot by four foot, Ralph. Ralph? Well, that's the standard size Ralph board is four by four. Yeah, so I don't know if that's standard to you, but that is what the game is played on. We need a sh we need a drone in the studio, <laughs> dude. This like, oh, <laughs> the car is just flying everywhere, dude. dude. That'd be sick, though. Holy shit! You know shit. those micro <laughs> drones actually have very little impact underneath them. They're so small now. Yeah, I guess it's the only other problem would be the uh, the sound. The sound right? would be a bigger <laughs> one. We would just be living. It's like with... music mic run by. <laughs> oh my god! I would die. That'd be great. Um, Launch the shot. This is like this is kind of a rough charge for you. It is. So you'd have to relentless first. Yes. Um, well, you wouldn't. You wouldn't have to, but it would be advisable. I could generate a, sh a, a Wendy token, token and, and, Wendy token, yes. and then what is that? That's a that's a be, six inches away. So, uh, so so that's auto in then at that point. Uh, it's like it's like close to it. Well, because you're a little. I'm deliberately placed to say you were a little past nine. Okay, so it's uh, one fails. So one would fail. Yeah. So two up. Okay. Um, well, after the pivot, but sure. Yeah, we'll see what that sure. looks like. And I would, I would anticipate you doing that because you'd have to take a turn doing it. So I could use their relentless to move back, um, which is where my brain was at. Um, gotcha, gotcha. Does he have his overrun? No, he has furious charge. Okay. The uh, the commander version does have overrun. Okay. I think the thing I don't want you to have is maneuverability. Unfortunately, obviously you'll be able to heal, but you lose your card, so you seem like you don't want to do that. Um, I also would not like you to draw Texas cards, but whatever, can't stop it. So we're gonna place Illyrio on there. Uh, I don't want to do this. Just to heal them. Yeah, in case you don't, in case you have, we are not so. Because I, this unit can't die right now. If this unit dies, it's very bad. I think. Oh, the spearman. Yeah. Ah, okay. To Spiff, thanks for the prime sub. We appreciate it. Uh, I don't know if you have it, but I'm gonna, I'm just gonna play as if you do. Uh, so we'll heal back three, and you become weak. I mean, points wise. Oh, uh, which like, zone did you take? The maneuverability. Um, it's a, a 40 point game, Ralph Trill. Yeah, so uh, small game is 30 points, medium game, but everyone kind of plays is 40 points, and then a bigger game is 50 points. But if I'm being totally honest, I have literally never played any other game other than 40 points. I've only done it in like 2v1s or, or team games or any of that kind of stuff. Gotcha. How many cards do you have? I have three right now. Uh, yeah. Oh, I have two, I have two, I have two, sorry. Yeah, but we do not so. Uh. I'm thinking, thinking, I think that to be safe I should do this, but I don't want to. Okay, um, I'll be safe and do what I just did. What do you? Interesting. If you do not have We Do Not So, I had, a, I had a far superior play I could have done. So did you take bags or not? I took maneuverability with Oh, Illyrio. Illyrio and you replaced son it of a bitch. with heal plus a weaken. Because Greyjoy likes it when their opponent takes bags. Yes. Although I'm not rocking Eric right now, so I will. Since I got my swing in, I will bags and do this. You gonna nullify it? Okay. Okay. Just gonna get rid of that card. Um. Yeah. Okay. Goes away. They heal three back. And black tide conviction goes away. Yeah. Now I'm okay with it. I wanted to get that Kraken's Wrath plus Resentment swing in before I... Uh, it was a big swing. It was. It was really good. The, the two up allowing for fishing for sixes is really nice. Oh, also my Reapers have a pillage token on them because they killed Jorah. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Boxes of miles run from what? Three to eight points? Uh, Five to eight. Units are four to eight points. I'm going to uh, swing with the pets okay. and shift when I do so. Um, honestly, right now, I just need the seniors to die. What switches are those? Are those browns? No, these are Logitech's first proprietary switches. Okay. They're, they're like reds, but I hate them. Okay. Uh, seven dice, looking for threes, no modifiers. Okay. Yeah. Uh, four 
Whoever saves at minus one. So a three up for me and my Iron Makers, because they got two pillage tokens, giving them a two up save. Um, looking for threes. Fail three of them. Three die. And then, I, do you have Vicious or something, or no? I'm in, I'm in your flank, that's the only consideration. So just minus one, plus one for the tree, yes. so we're looking at a standard five. Got it on an eight. Cool. That's the bets. Ah, no! <laughs> <laughs> Damn. My banner! Okay. Part of me wants to relentless turn and charge yeah, them. Yeah, I know that I'm putting myself in a vulnerable position for exactly that. Yeah, the one problem with that is that when I hit you, you can fucking retreat, which is so sneaky. It's <laughs> so sneaky. So it's like, when I, if I'm gonna hit you, it's gotta be fucking good. It's got, and they have weakened it's on round them. round three. You went first this round? Four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's what allowed so me to charge so and kill around first next turn. So. Yeah, yeah. That's very good. It is. Five. You're perfectly filed round counter. <laughs> I need little like hole reliefs in each slot to get it. Oh, there you go. You just need nails. Fucking so one try, dude. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. I'm on a pleb. Pleb. Man. Hmm. I should have taken letters, weakened you, and then taken bag a second. Um, but oh well. Because now, now weakening the spearman does nothing. Can't do it. Can't do it, won't do it. Can't do it. Um. Um. You attacked my guys. Did I lose? Did I fail that panic check? No. no. Uh, then Dauntless should have brought a, a model back. I believe it. And it, I did not. So I'm bringing a model back. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, you passed it and then asked Scott if he wanted to use the panic token. And yes. Like, yeah. Pass on like a three. And then I never, and then I never Dauntless. Yeah. So yep. I get a model back. I think I will. I think I'll take letters. Okay. And I'll weaken the vets. Okay. And I'll draw two. <clears throat> okay. I will uh, charge with this unit of Freeman okay. into your flank. It's auto in. Just rolling for three rolls. Doesn't count. In. They get. Let's see. I've like never used Friedman. <laughs> Six dice, looking for fives. But I get plus one to hit and plus one attack dice. For the gang up. So seven dice, looking for fours. Rerolls. Not many fours. Not many. A lot of threes. That does not count. I said it before I landed. Not many more, but it's not really the purpose of these guys anyway, so that's fine. Three uh, three saves at minus one. Three saves at minus one, looking for threes. Wait, do you mind if I... Uh, oh, never mind. I don't want to do what I was going to do anyway. So. I can't roll three. Uh, <laughs> two more die. Yeah, I don't I don't want to do what I was going to do. And then a panic check. Panic and check at minus one. Minus one plus so one. We're, we're on a five right now. We're good on an 11. Cool. Big fatty 11. Over to you. Over to me and D. Fucking die! <laughs> Ain't gonna happen. That's what you think. What is dead may never die, Chris. <laughs> Kill me. <laughs> <laughs> One more NCU, eh? You could charge the other sword masters in. To they have not activated either. Just saying. Yeah. Um, which is problematic, um, just because of the, the relentless. Um, so yeah, we'll do this. We'll put Wendy on that and replace it with gaining an order token on him. Okay. What are the other things other than a three-inch shift? Uh, healing a unit for two and drawing a card. Okay. OP. OP. Yeah. So, what does a charge with two inches of movement look like, eh? A. Not great. So I really need to use that relentless first. Yeah, so the question is like, can I kill you in one go, or do you heal more? You 
probably have wisdom and never die. And I had to use the other thing to get rid of the influence, which I absolutely need to do that or else this would not be happening as well as it is. Um, so do we just swing with the Sword Masters? I don't have another way of getting them wounds back, I think. Shiny Angron says, I played my first game of this game last night. Awesome, how did it go? What army were you playing and playing against? Let me know. Mm. Strangely, do the freedmen have the they objective can't now? Control oh, objective. That's what it is. But I was also thinking about. Okay, that. won my Dota game. Hell yeah, dude! Shadow Shaman rules. <laughs> what up, Muzi? Muzi is excited about this. Muzi is much excited. Sunfire, let's go! Hmm. Done all them. You have those guys and two are relentless and, and them. I have one, two, three, four. I'm gonna go first next. I don't think getting you on the flank, you're not gonna mess up that many hits again, I feel. Shiny says he was playing Free Folk versus Nightwatch. It was both both players' first game I did win, but it went to all six turns, took a long time to grind through Jon Snow and a unit of vets. John Snow, that rally cry is very annoying. Rally cry is just very good in general. It doesn't matter which hits you. Okay, uh, I'll attack with my sword masters um, and see what we do. Uh, because I'm lose, I've lost a rank. I'm at uh, seven attacks instead of eight. Um, <laughs> You're like the fucking rest of us. <laughs> uh, I, two units have not died yet, so I don't get that other wonderful benefit. I sure wish I did, but we're looking at. Threes, Twos. precision, and reroll. Gang up. Oh shit! Oh, I do get an extra dice. Oh, because I gang up. So eight dice. Looking for twos. Rerolls, precision. Here we go. Oh, body, body. We are just gonna reroll all oh, that rounder. No more. Oh, one more six. Nice. So nice, nice, three nice, auto nice. wounds and then three saves. I just need you to fail one of them. Three auto wounds and then three saves. Indeed. On twos. On twos. I fail one. one. Let's see it. Okay. What is dead? They come back with D3 wounds. Three. Goddamn. And this card goes on them. And then a panic check. Any modifiers? No. We're looking at fours. So, what? Uh, yeah, yeah, you're good anyway. So. Got it on an. Uh, I get the thing back. Yes, sir, you do indeed. All right, and we burned through the what is dead may never die that I knew you had. And here we are. <laughs> and here we are. <laughs> Over to you. Lots of grinding this round. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I've killed like 80 models out of that unit, but somehow they're just, they're Alirio so many of them. supply aid, seven wounds back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, I love having a means of having supply aid. It's very fun. Yeah. I think now is the time we use the Wendy token because you yeah. chose to swing there. I'll do this now. I do have that weakened on me though, as a reminder. And we'll, we'll squanch on up here. Again, you should be the teeniest. Oh, yeah, with a thingy, it won't matter. Here we go. Yeah, that's six inches right there. Yeah, so when you do that, you'll have it. You're good. All right. You don't gotta. You're auto in. Just roll for rerolls. Rolling for rerolls. Uh, he's right. not gonna get him because he's on the wall. Yeah. Yes. And I get plus one to my defense. Indeed. Sick. But you become vulnerable. Yes. Because he charged me. Because of furious charge. Yeah. If you don't mind, thank you. Furious. So angry. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right then. <laughs> Haven't you ever been mad, Curtis? <laughs> yeah, occasionally. Oh, you played finger dancing then? I don't remember that happening. I did a long time ago. Yeah. Might not have been the greatest thing to do, but I didn't want to put it on the Iron Maker just because I didn't want it to like come back to me because they have a two up saves. I don't want to like mess with the one thing they're good at. All right, we got seven swings, seven thundering swings. Yeah, you would have been vulnerable like four attacks in a row. I know, yeah, and I definitely, that might not be as good as it turned out. We're looking for threes. We got three misses. Four saves at minus one, plus one, so your normal save. Cool. Four saves at four plus. Am I rerolling this? Yeah, I'll make it reroll it. 
cool. So three. They get a pillage token. And this goes away. Do you have vicious? Uh, no. Okay, so. I do have uh, minus one to your uh, morale just because of the uh, silence is infamy. Yep, because now you have a pillage token. I get uh, plus pillage, one. Pillage token doesn't appear on your unit until the end of the attack. Oh, you're right. You're right. So, so I'm that. looking for a three. Uh, I'm sorry, do you want me to use this? Um, we've already rolled results. Uh, but I can back it up. I had four hits. I can just do it on your next attack. Okay, fine. Works, works, works. Yeah, yeah, because you had four? Yeah. I mean, that's like pretty average, right? Yeah. That's yeah, fine. This is, we'll keep this how it is. Okay. Uh, good thing you <sighs> didn't get that pillage token. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> You're fucking kidding me. Uh, so the three does does do it. <laughs> right, they don't have vicious or anything, right? Nope. Okay. Cut the board. Um, okay. Cool. Cool. That was their activation. They still have relentless. I still have my relentless and my activation and my freedman. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you with your ten activations. <laughs> Fortunately, or is it, I don't, I don't is have it a nine way. or is it ten? Um, also, you get this. Oh yes, true. Is it nine or is it ten? Uh, I think it's now nine because you killed Jorah. Ah, yes, yes. And we got any ideas for how to base a Stannis Dragonstone army? I do not know. Um, I feel like one of my issues with ASOIAF is I felt like the content in the game was capped just because the the lore is owned by someone else uh, who isn't advancing the story very very frequently. <laughs> but after watching House of the Dragon, there are so many other houses that don't exist in this game yet. Oh yeah, there's still like, quite a few popular ones. House Aaron has to be the next one, I think. I'm kind of jazzed for House Valerian. Dude. Valerian would all... The thing is, too, they could split off a bunch of the ones that they've rolled into factions. Yeah. That are sub-houses. Yeah. They absolutely could split off, like... Car Stark or, uh, you oh, know, like the sure. Unsullied could be their own faction. Yeah, kind of thing. yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm going to charge with my um, uh, Freedman. Okay. Um, I uh, I should not play this card. I think, but I want to. The Valerians Hold died on. off prior to the GOT timeline. You might be right about that. I I'm not very well versed in the lore, unfortunately. So Golden for rerolls, we're in. They they could. Uh, very easily do like a House of the Dragon type era, mm. you know, precursors or mm. whatever, where they just release different unit cards. Sure, yeah, yeah. And let you play a, like in a different thing. I don't know if like CMON technically has the rights to that era. They, they don't have the rights to the show so they, House of the Dragon, but that's just based off of one of the, the books in the series that is the history of the Targaryens. Mm. So. Okay. I am rolling seven dice looking for fours with re -roll. No other modifiers. I am rolling so poorly today. Yeah, that was a terrible fucking roll. There we go. Five saves with no modifiers. Five no saves. Mods. So looking for fives. Didn't get a single one. Get fucked. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not kidding. Get fucked. Damn. That's my freedmen coming in with their hammers and pickaxes. Burger actions. Murica. Okay. Only the most free. Panic check. So this is at a minus one um, uh, result because of Silence's Infamy. And a plus one to your roll because of the tree. Oh, am I within? Yep. Nice. Just so for you. we're looking for a four. Uh, got it on a seven. Nice. All right. It's very nice. That's their innovation. There's banner. Over to you. Okay. Um, I will use Relentless, which is start of a friendly turn. Okay. Um, and then I will use, if I am able to, uh, Bless with Stone, Bless with Steel. It says when a friendly combat unit activates. Am I activating right now? Or no. Am I, no. Does it not count? Dude, using fuck relentless. these fucking I, things. So dude. I actually had a card earlier that I really wanted to use, only to then realize, it was my war cry. It, it said when a friendly... Uh, unit activates. I'm like, fuck, Relentless isn't activating. So I like sent these guys way forward with a march, but then wasn't able to war cry you. I had the exact same epiphany. Yep. Fucking lame. Yeah, if Bless with Stone was on an attack, it would work, but it is when it activates, not. Yeah, and it wasn't useful because I had full ranks last time. Okay, that's fine. 
Um, all right. And I can't do that because I'm using Relentless, okay? Is I'm that gonna... thing that you, is that your commander card that you attach and you gain benefits based on missing ranks? Is that what that card was? Nope. Oh. Different one. All right, I'll swing with my Relentless. Uh, I'm at uh, two ranks now. So, uh, so these guys have five attacks. Hitting on threes. Which unit are you attacking? I'm hitting the, uh, uh, here's a question for you. Um, if I reduce these guys by one rank, yep. um, does that really do much for their attacks? Because so it would go so many buffs down right to now. six plus one plus one, so they'd be at eight dice. Right on, now one, they're, on one rank. On one rank. Hitting on twos. Uh, yes. And right now they're nine attacks hitting on twos. Yes. Okay. Whatever. It's better. I'll hit the sword masters. My five attacks hitting on threes. I am weakened. Ouch. Well, I miss with four attacks. Um, do I make you reroll the one? I think the answer is no. Okay. Um. Hitting on threes. You are vulnerable because uh, I have equal ranks to you. Oh, uh, sure. Well, sh I mean, whatever. We'll have you reroll it, sure. All right. We're rolling the one success. Looking for a three. Just Did get it. One save. Do you, uh, you have Sundering? Yeah. Uh, so minus one to my armor. So five plus. Why was it? Oh, because you were through that before. Yes. But yes. you're not charging through it, so Correct. not this time. So looking for five. Uh, and we can reroll it. it. Oh, yes, I forgot. Just because I can get it back so easily. Okay. Panic test at... Uh, this is precision, not vicious. So minus one in my morale because you're bubble. Plus one, so four. Just don't roll a three this time. Whoo! I'm oh. skirting those goddamn panic checks. Jeebus. Okay. Cool. Um, you still have them, so you're not technically activated out. I will um, activate with my sword masters. Um, so I have... If I'm not mistaken, so I have seven at two ranks, eight, nine. Um, so nine dice on twos with three rolls in precision. Two, four, six. Okay, nine dice, twos, three rolls precision. Uh, God damn. God damn indeed. I think we reroll everything because I only missed my ones. Yeah. Or honestly, what's your save? Five up. Actually, maybe we just. Because then you would have how many models left? Uh, yeah, we'll reroll everything, sure. I'm so glad I did. That's five auto wounds and then four saves with no modifiers. Five auto wounds, so I got two dudes left, and then how many? Uh, four. four? Yeah. Yeah, four. Yeah, sorry, four saves with no modifiers. All right, three die. Here's the other one. I'll play What Is Dead May Never Die. Okay. Um, so they come back with D3 wounds. Three wounds. Again. Okay. Take it easy, pep the fish, if you're still here. See you, pep. Uh, and then a panic check. Panic check on four because of late tree mm -hmm. and also at minus one to the result. You're good. Pass on a six. <laughs> so, uh, did I say if I was using Relentless for my activation? I don't remember. You said activate, okay, I believe. So they're activated, they still have Relentless. Oh, yeah. All right. It's a second giant funk. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Normally, yeah. no, there's like normally no, one here, right? no one is here at this time, yeah. Oh god, are we gonna die? We're gonna die. So it's like the beginning of the fucking movie Alien? <laughs> We're gonna die right now. Get Let's, your swords, gentlemen. We're gonna survive on Chips Ahoy and Oreos. <laughs> <laughs> I can sustain myself for a long. There's almonds over there. Yeah, my almonds. Got, my yeah. nut time. There's like pies of leftovers in there too, like you, in the fridge. I think you know, we got Kool Aid. That's a lot of calories. And, and, and kill Evan, honestly, because it's a whoa, lot of whoa, protein. Whoa, 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 whoa! I could take both. A lot of protein over there, and then we're uh, consuming less calories between the three of us. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll kill and eat both of you. One v two. Let's take it. Ah. <laughs> uh, hmm. Things are looking scary. We're on the brink right now. I'm feeling good right now. The brink of destruction. <laughs> Symphony of destruction. Ooh, a little Megadeth. I don't know, right? I haven't listened to Megadeth in a while. It's they, fucking same. <laughs> there was a there was a tour going on, and there was a concert. I think actually it's tomorrow, where a bunch of old guitarists and band members from Megadeth are playing a tour, playing a bunch of old Megadeth songs. Because huh. I don't know why Dave does this, Dave Mustaine, but like he always like cycles out his rhythm guitarists, like or his leads every album. He picks, he gets a new one. There, uh, 
That's so weird. Can't let them get a big head. No, it's weird. There, I don't get there it. There's some other artist <laughs> that does that for some band, men, band member. And I, for a second, I thought you were referring to, like, we were referring to the same thing, but now I can't think of who it is. And I don't think it's Megadeth, so. Yeah. That's interesting. I wonder if he's just like, uh, just like feels intimidated. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> Guitarists are just the scum Dave of the Dave, earth. Bro. Yeah, that's scum what it is. Of the earth. That's what it is. Yeah. All right, uh, start of a funny turn. I was hoping I'd get a little bit more damage in with our Relentless to get two tokens, but I didn't. Um, I will um, eat that token for two dudes back. Okay. What card is that? I'm sorry, that is the Iron Price. I was told that painted models make them perform better in game. In the walls, man. Game over. Oh, okay. Uh, that's... uh um, I hate not being able to use cards in a turn, but not wanting to be able, like not wanting not to get cycle rid of them. them. Yeah. yeah, I don't think that. So that's where I've been at this entire turn. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, I'll shoot with the archers. That's all I have left to do. I will shoot the uh, vets. Okay. Um, I gotta make a panic check on my my boys so they don't die. We got six attacks with rerolls. Fours. We get fours. Oh wow! Look at me go. Not bad. Not bad at all. Four hits. Better than average. Definitely. Two misses. Not, not so great. four at minus two. Sorry, minus one. Minus, minus one. one. Okay. For the flank shot. So six. Um. But you are also vulnerable because yeah. of finger dance. There you go. Okay. Which I'm going to use immediately. Didn't get any of them, so oh, it doesn't matter. Oh, you didn't get any of them. Okay. Cool. So it okay. still stays on you then. So four wounds right now. We're going to do a morale check at minus one plus one. So five. Actually, maybe even minus an additional one. Oh, possibly. I forgot about that. Oh, no, no. I, I ate the token. I ate the token. Never mind. Oh, okay. Uh, so looking for five. And this time we actually fucking got it. Eleven. Holy shit. Uh, so four <laughs> wounds. So that's a model. Model and some. You want a heart? To sure. Yeah, that'd be great. And you didn't burn the vulnerable. Okay. Scott count. needs to take a panic test for his friendly yes. unit engaged. Panic test on a four. We're good on a five. Okay. Well, that would have killed um, me if I failed. <laughs> and now I have my Relentless, right? Yes. Okay. So, Actually, you no, you Wait, don't. hang on. Do you still have activations? <laughs> he does. He has Relentless. I have Relentless. Do you have an actual activation? Oh, no, you do not. Oh, is that a fucking rule? Yes. Can you please say that I use my Relentless instead of the activation, or do you yeah. want to? No, I don't that? care. Okay. Yeah. You go for it. Is that really a thing? Good yes. Uh, as soon as all units are activated, you proceed to end. Yeah. More shit. Okay. Turns. I mean, obviously, if that was on my mind, I obviously would have done it the other way. And I yep. even thought I even thought about after it because I was like, obviously, I'd want to do it the other way because if yeah. I killed that unit, I'd want to be able to fucking move and shit. You got to search for it. Chat, there. you can give me shit. Thank you, Scott, though. You're They're in the walls. I'll give you shit. Game over, man. Game over. <laughs> Why do you roll one extra different die for morale? What is it for? So when you roll morale, um, you roll 2d6 uh, for, your, for checking your morale, uh, and then the d3 is how much damage you take if you fail it. Looking for twos, rerolls, precision. Uh, that's it. God. <gasps> oh. Fish in form again? Yeah. I mean, if I'm only missing on ones, I feel like that's definitely the play. All right, that's four auto wounds. You gotta miss one of these saves here, guy. Ain't gonna happen. Was it four? A uh, five. Uh, All you have to do is roll f five fives. <laughs> They're dead. Uh, okay, so I get to search fourth. I also get the token back. And you get a VP. And a VP. Um, I believe you get to place the. Oh no, never mind. Those are freedmen. You can't put them on. Search fourth. Big surge. Uh, well, I guess I can actually do it. Uh, fuck these freedmen. <laughs> ah! They're in the way. Dance with dragons? Yes, sir. This is the Dance with Dragons game mode, yep. Uh, whatever. I don't wanna... um, for the person that was asking about the D3, let me pull up a unit real quick while you shimmy this unit back and forth. Shimmy, shimmy. And then this is more like this, and then we're just going to turn... So I get to pivot, so. Oh, do we not have the- but Actually, if I pivot, I won't be able to fit the sword message. Here we go. So, uh, I guess. so you roll 2d6 against the number that's next to the little flag there on the bottom of the card, trying to meet or beat that number on the two dice. And if you do not meet it, then you take the wounds from the d3. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. That's the end run, right? It's also nice because when you have a panic, there are three conditions in this game, panic, weakened, and vulnerable. Uh, when you panic someone, you can make them roll any combination of those three dice during a panic check. 
Uh, you can make a reroll of the D3. You can make a reroll of the, the values. So say they roll a, a three on the D3 dice, but they pass their morale. You can make them reroll their morale dice to keep that D3. It's fun. So there's another layer of tactics to the game. All right, start of round four, correct? Start of round four. Um, the game it was looking like uh, Curtis is scoring two VP at the end of the round. I'm scoring one for the unit I have. Um, so you should yeah. make it six to two, if I'm not mistaken. Sounds right. All right. <clears throat> Debating whether or not I want to get rid of this card and draw two additional, or get or keep both and draw one. Um, go it. I am gonna drop mine. There you are, you fucking bitch. Um, I don't know if I'll, I don't think I'll ever get to utilize this the rest of the game. Which is why I'm considering dropping it, but I want to use it. Eh, what? Well, fuck it. Uh, I want to know. Getting rid of it, drawing two. Um, okay. Game looks hard, chat. Is, uh, oh, Evan, Sir Evan, my wonderful rule master Evan, is start of any turn and when a friendly combat unit activates at the same activation time? No. 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 Okay. Um, I'm going to use start of any turn, uh, Blood of the Dragon, uh, and I'll use it on this unit of Swordmasters. Dragon, dragon, Blood of the Dragon. <laughs> So I don't, I'm not really sure what happened here, but there's a lot of units not fully engaged. <laughs> um, Which means you get to shoot and charge. <laughs> 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 That's how the game works, right? Yeah, you bumped the tray so they're not engaged anymore. It's like I was talking, I was telling Jim last night, they should add a rule that if you drop your tray, any models that fall off of it are, are permanently removed. Fucking brutal. Yeah. And then the whole competitive scene would be about trying to scare people as they're touching their trays to... <laughs> Uh, we'll use Barristan Summit's influence on them. We'll use swords. We'll attack with the Swordmasters. Uh, eight dice, twos, precision rerolls. You guys want to kill this right away. Don't risk you healing it or doing any other stuff that would make me cry. Dr. Three! With the sub. Dr. Three, thank you! <laughs> Tendies, period. <laughs> Tendies. This man knows what he wants in life. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we're going. We got two. Just need one more, baby. Give me that six. There it is. There it is. It turns out what is dead can die. <laughs> that was a good one. Great joy, scientists were wrong. Dying twice. Do all my pivots. Or is it three times? Because they were already dead? I don't know. That's a good point. I'm not sure. Oh, is there a way that I can... Oh wait, they, they should be right next to each other, so I shouldn't be able to pivot Correct. at all in that way. Yeah, so they have to be like this. Um, just give them the flank, I think, is the play. Pitfall becomes the greatest Song of Ice and, player, uh, Song of Ice and Fire player overnight. I don't get it. And then they get to search fourth, right? So we'll go. I'm a doctor. Look at my name. <laughs> and I agree that raising tendies is the way to go. Raising canes? Yeah. Raising shendies? Yeah, nine out of ten doctors agree. That raising canes is the best tendies. <laughs> Tendy hut, in fact. Okay. I need to add a random chance into the Sigmar command that it just tells you to go to raising canes. <laughs> Over to you. Also, S Sigmar you says, go get you some canes. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds lovely. Hmm. They could just change the name. Oh, I gain a, a, a VP. Oh, yeah, you killed a guy. Pretty please, pretty please. Hmm. It was amazing. Oh, what I was going to say before actually now applies. I believe when you destroy that unit, you can place the egg on any engaged friendly unit. I already had the egg. Oh, well. Then I, I didn't get it in that attack. I already had it. Game sucks. <laughs> Do you expect me to pay attention to everything that's happening? Yes. Oh, yeah. Sure. yeah. Okay. I 
mean, Scott literally won last game. You guys are being bullies. What's up? Evan's saying some bullshit. I'm saying that the safe money was on Curtis for this game. Because he's getting those reps in. Should be an egg-having penalty? It, there is. There specifically is a penalty. You, yeah, you, you, can only move two inches. you can only move two inches. Yeah, your movement speed becomes two inches, and you can't march anymore. You are correct that there's not a fighting penalty, but the <laughs> movement penalty is egregious. <laughs> so It's pretty brutal. Yeah. So if I run in, if I try to charge with these guys, it's a three, so it's not even guaranteed, which is rough. Um, you can just swift retreat and then shoot immediately, right? You can retreat and shoot at the same time? Or is if just... I wanted to, yeah. Because yeah. it's a it's a after a maneuver or a retreat. So yes, I could shoot right after. If I just shoot you right now, you can't do the same thing. But then if they're engaged and they can free maneuver and come after the archers, I'm not sure what you'd want to do. You have a lot of options. These guys are very hard to tie down. Um, I mean, even if I charge them and you swift retreat and shoot, you can still come for the archers afterwards. So it's challenging. Not a whole lot of options left. There's some obvious tactics board things, but I don't think any of them are very helpful right now. Maybe some more cards, but cards aren't going to win me the game. I mean, to be honest, the game looks a little uh, like I'm going to lose no matter what. But what are we on? We're on round four, right? Round yeah, four, yeah. yeah. Um, hmm. Oh, what is this going to be? I get to put a vulnerability on someone, right? In long range? Yep, and you certainly would have gotten to do that. So they uh, also have one. I'll put them on the... the... Oh, were they in long range? Yeah, I'll put it on these guys. Why not? Okay. Um, fuck. Add to my pile. Fuck, what do I do? The pile. I'm panicking. <laughs> <laughs> um, I will charge the nets. Um, He's going for it. He's going for it, all right. Um... When a friendly Greyjoy unit activates, I'll use Raiding Call. I won't use the value of it. I'll just get an extra pillage token. Okay. So you're not twos. I was trying to fish for one of these cards, and after two Roderick cycles and a tactics card, I didn't get a single Raiding Call. But I got Holy one shit. I got one now, though. <laughs> so I could block that, but it's like, do I want to? Can you? Because I'm just, uh, the thing I'm benefiting from says this. If any player controlling, oh, I, no, I can't do that. No one has bags. I'm a liar. I can't do that. You can't do it anyway. Sorry. Yeah, I won't do that. Okay, I'll just charge. So I need a three. And I get a three. Nice. Very cool. I will align thusly. Great, please take my energy. <laughs> I need it. I need you it right now. Get some in the chair right now. I need you it. You have your support still. <laughs> Also, two to three units. I got five units. Don't sleep on the freedmen. They're doing some work. <laughs> they, they, literally, that unit they like killed five, five silence. Yeah, yeah. It was fucking nutty. It's <laughs> fucking insane. I'm poking them with my goddamn pitchforks. It also turns the unsullied swordmasters into precision machines. Yeah, into fucking disgustingness. Yeah, it's pretty Why sad. would I let you have defense saves? I'll just keep rolling dice. <laughs> Honestly, that combo feels so goddamn good. It is. Also, this this... I'm enjoying this list more than the last Marceline list I did. Um, right. We're swinging it helps with... that you got the extra Freedman out a lot. Yeah. We're swinging with seven right now? Because I don't think you got any free ones out last time, right? You just, hey, I, you I didn't, draw I didn't have a unit of Freedman, and I didn't get any free ones. Yeah. It was yeah. Viewer picked up a cutting mat, by the way. Viewer, thank you for picking up a cutting mat. Appreciate it. Uh, yeah, there's, Appreciate it. there's noties for the stream when you all buy something on the website. Like a Kill Your Friends t-shirt. Hey, oh, now we're no, talking. <laughs> <laughs> we got threes. Let's see it, buddy. Wow! That dice flew. <laughs> All right, guys. We're gonna say thank here. God for rerolls, right? Thank God for rerolls, indeed. I fucking hate three ups. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got six sundering saves. Ouch. We have vulnerability on you from the last finger dance. Looking for sixes. <laughs> I don't want to see any fucking saves. Didn't get any. So that's six wounds. So skirt, skirt. We got four wounds left, so I can't die to a panic, thankfully. Um, I play this card. No, <laughs> <laughs> you auto fail and take eighty wounds. No. Yeah, oh shit! No. <laughs> that card is sick. It's fucking sick. I want that card. Holy shit! Uh, Panic at Nope. Plus one, so four. See that's six. Oh well. Oh no, right, you spun around. Never mind. And uh, you better believe I'll send. Does retreat. does this uh this is gone right? Because nope. you have four wounds left. I had. 
What? Yeah, no. Why is it? No, he took he took six wounds. Took six wounds. Yeah. So you you could die to a panic if you failed it. Oh. I thought you said you couldn't die to a panic if you failed it. Oh yeah. Am I doing this the wrong way? I had taken four wounds, which means I had ten. How many did you? How much did, you did? Six. So I should be at four. So I should have another. You had model. taken four wounds, so you'd be at eight. Oh yes, yes. And then another six. So I bet two. So no, this is accurate. This is accurate. Yeah. So I could have died. So you could have died to the. I just, oh, okay. I'm just dumb. There this this there is accurate. Um, okay, and I will uh, switch retreat. Um, it's not often known rule about Targaryens, so they actually get extra wounds. <laughs> The horse like, fuck like fucking bear calf. Yeah. I'm so late, but anyways, let's go, Scott. Tenny time. I appreciate the tenny time. I'll I really want the battle cry is good. It's not strong enough. I'm dying, chat. Oh uh, yeah, swift, swift retreat. So it's my D, it's my move plus d6. Yep. I, I play this game. <laughs> so eleven. <laughs> He's fucking out of here, bro. <laughs> Zoom. The world <laughs> is your oyster. Well, I can only move. Orthogonally, correct? Yes. Yeah, either straight back or straight to the side. Not quite my oyster. Could he go that way? No, because he can't move through enemy units. Uh, unless you have that one card. What's the card that lets you move through people when you do damage to them? Uh, Rob, my attack is Cal Drogo's card, though. Yeah. Ah. Almost all, token? I think actually no. all the mounted commanders have that card. Do they? Yeah, I'm pretty sure the, the Stark one does. The, Tully, does. the Tully guy? Yeah. Wait, what's his name? What's the mounted Stark commander called? Um. He's he is Brendan Tully. Brendan Tully. The mounted Brendan Tully, because there's also a foot version. Um Benjamin Stark has that card and Night's Watch and Mounted and uh well, yeah, all right. A lot of them do. Horse fish and foot fish. Fight me! <laughs> no! <laughs> you bully! So I mean I could be a total skis and like just chill and like it's looking pretty good for me, and then I can heal up, take some time to heal. Yeah, this game is over. Yeah, I mean, if you want to call it, it's totally fine. Yeah, we can call it. Okay, good game. GG, man. Hard game. Um, let's talk tactics. Um, that when tokens aren't called tendy tokens is a <laughs> study in. He's Tendy Mirror. Minatorium. <laughs> fucking tendy Minatorium is still here right now, bro. Yeah. It was like six a.m. where you lived it. I fucking Min love it. I Min love it. Minatorium here at the start of the stream, subbing and fucking getting out great one-liners yes. late, at, late uh, at the end of the stream here. I, I love the idea of Tendy Mirror. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. Scott should have cheated when Curtis went to pee. I, I thought. <laughs> I thought about it. Um. Yeah. I think one area where I faltered is I always assume uh, Silence Men are more tanky than they are because I always put Baron Black Tide on them, or like most times I do. Which it's, does make them Omega tanky. Makes anyone Omega yeah. tanky, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, so I kind of have like a, a misrepresentation about how strong they are in my head. Um, so they died a lot faster than I thought they would. Um, to be honest, I'm so used to you doing that that I also thought that they would die much slower. And then yeah. when I did like five fucking wounds with the Freedmen, I'm like, holy that shit, was they're, brutal. they're yeah. dropping. That was brutal. So what are they on, a five plus? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Most things in my army are on a five plus, other than the Iron, Iron Makers. Makers. Yeah. Um, I felt like tactically, I was pretty happy with my choices, even like running the Iron Makers down there. I mentioned playing with the cards I had in my hand. I had two What Is Them May Never Die and a Lash Out. And I was like, fucking yeah, go, Yeah, that feels boys. great. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. I believe, and Evan, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but um, I was playing in a tournament against our local prodigy. What was his name? Mark Rupp. And we ruled that I was allowed to use two What Is Them May Never Dies in a row. Like, say, for instance, I play the card, I get three back, and then die to the panic. I can play it again. Yes. Um, really? Yeah. Jesus. So I felt like... They're not gonna die. You felt a little invulnerable in that. Yeah, and you gonna... could lash out against me if you were down two ranks. Exactly. You do four wounds exactly. Yeah. So yeah. I was like, okay, then that was turn two, and then turn three, I go again. Maybe I kill the spearman. Um, they didn't work out that odds that they'll die. They, I mean, they died in round four, so they they, yeah. they hung on for a while. Um, the 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 gang up is huge. Um, but I, I'm willing to hear feedback from either of you two if you thought I could have done something differently. So I'm kind of other than, other than this, like just choking right there immensely. That was pretty bad. But yeah. uh, you, you, mean you were also going in on a situation where even if you had rolled a huge attack there, he was going to hit you back twice. Um, I could have let him charge the Iron Maker, I suppose. But I, so what I was thinking in that situation is you could have instead of charging, you could have maneuvered them in to protect the Iron Makers and said, you can charge these guys instead. So what I was thinking of doing while we were in that weird chest-like predicament was I was considering 
I was, I was considering waiting until you used your Relentless and then charging my Freeman in there and then shifting to the right. God and damn. Then bringing the Swordmasters in there so that if you charged, you would have to hit the Freedmen first, protecting my Swordmasters, and then you would have like this whole cone of shit on you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. But then instead, you Wendy tokened and, you know, charged these guys, obviously. So. Yeah, yeah. But I, I had a whole plan for if you ever did burn your Relentless, and I had like enough activations to wait till you did that. Yeah. I did think also, yeah, you going after Jora was. I'm not sure if that was the winning play. Honestly, it, I think you should have charged the back of the vets. Yeah. Yeah. Because, like, yeah, I'm getting VPs sitting there, but, like... They didn't, the Iron Makers didn't die to the vets, though. The vets were fucking whiffing endlessly. Those guys are the fucking powerhouse. powerhouse. Yeah, but if you had gone into the back of the vets and killed them, now you would have had a unit there in the scrum to pick up slack. Yeah. You got a whole other unit there to start, you know, next turn you charge the, the Swordmasters. Because, I don't know, yeah. I, I don't know. You're right, because my vets didn't do like a whole lot, but it does feel as though I feel like the more value play there was to charge the rear of the vets. What did I... Okay. When did I kill Jorah? It was top, top of uh, round three, I believe. Yeah. It was a three, yeah. So if I, if I instead charge, that's the only thing they're doing. Um, well, they kill they kill the vets. Well, they, they, they have full wounds, right? Because they weren't shot yet by these dudes. Um, I think it... Because that's the first thing I do in the round, right? Is charge them, and they hadn't been shot yet. Actually, I think they I had been shoot, shot. I didn't shoot with these guys until round three, which like it always feels bad because it's like right, I could, they're just like sitting there almost wasted. It's a waste of four yeah, points. Yeah. It, like if these guys were drowned men, healing and yeah, doing that shit. Yeah. So maybe because so much stuff against against Tar with the cab. It's like I can walk up and shoot once and then die. Um, or. I mean, I could also have waited to deploy them, so I'd put them not by the, the, the horses. Vets. I will say, you were sitting there con like making considerations about overrun in that first turn, and then you moved forward very conservatively. I did have overrun, and oh, was yeah, thinking about so bad. on that first turn. Yeah. Uh, like, if you see it, I think it's like one of my, yeah, I burned it, because I was like, okay, well, now I don't have an opportunity. Uh, I should be looking at your discards, honestly. Yeah. Because um, I know your deck so well at this point that... I know, that's how I feel about you. Yeah. <laughs> but... Uh, True. But uh, when when you were doing that, if you had deployed that, or if you had moved them forward more aggressively, I was because I think it would have ended up such that if you moved them forward enough, I would have been able to Jora them, and then <laughs> I absolutely would have taken them out and then overrun into the Reavers. And you I was were, I was sitting there ready to do it. Still at that point, I'm sorry. You were weakened at that point. Um, true, but true. still, their archers six up save. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, yeah and their, I think and their panic is terrible. Yeah, eight. Yeah, um, yeah. I don't know. Maybe the deployment I went wrong a little bit. Maybe I should have had Drown Men instead of Archers. I feel like you nullifying my two free activations turn one and turn two is hard. It's rough. Yeah. So Barry it, feels really good against Greyjoy in general because if you're Watch Damn I Never Die, but especially against Relentless, it feels so good. Yeah, that, that does. So maybe against against Targaryen, because I feel like I don't know how auto in Barris and Selmy is for like all I'll Targaryen say, players. Uh, maybe not always with every list, but against Greyjoy, I'm always going to take it every goddamn time. Yeah, and it makes sense. Because of what is Demon Ever Die, I'm yeah. always going to take it. So maybe not taking Vic is the play and dropping a point somewhere and then adding a four point unit. You, you know, Barry can't nullify a unit moving, right? So that get my activation. Right, because still. like I can hold, like I can use Barry, like in the beginning of the game, Barry's a little useless, right? It's like I'm not really blocking anything in rounds one. Maybe round two I do, but if we're, like in this game, it wasn't super vital either. Yeah. So it's great to just use it in round one and round two against your Relentless. And then now, oh, now we're in round three, we're all engaged. Now I need to block West Minute Endeavor. What is Devin never died? Now I'll use it on the pivotal combat. You know what I mean? And yeah. It's, it's still gotten use in the beginning because right. you've chosen Relentless. So right. you're right. Maybe that is it's a not a waste of an NCU. Yeah. yeah. For the first couple rounds. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe maybe I I put um, maybe I put uh, Vic in a unit of Reapers uh, and then I drop uh, Vic as an attachment and then I gain a whole Drown Man unit and then I'm still sitting at eight activations. Not sure. Could play around with stuff a little bit more. Um, yeah. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I yeah, I think the only mistake you made, which is hard to say because you won the game so so resoundingly, was just letting me kill letting Jorah. Jorah. But again, you, sit out in the you, open. you said that was that was a potential misplay and actually charged the vets instead. Uh, so maybe that wasn't much of a, an issue. I think I didn't really consider you march. You're really good about that, where you're just like, oh, okay, here's a great opportunity to set myself up next round. Let me just fucking march straight forward. And you you've done that a lot, and it's kind of yeah. like caught me off guard at times. And I didn't consider that when I charged the flank. And like after I charged, and obviously it's all in hindsight, right? But after I charged and saw the damage I did, I was like, God damn it. Now I'm like in this super vulnerable position. I didn't really do anything with that. Mm. Uh, this feels bad. You're not going to melee attack me, so I can't retreat. 
So I'm not going to get to charge again and do my shot in the charge. Yeah. So I felt really, really bad. And I was like, and after that happened, even before you charged and killed Jorah, I was like, I definitely should have just kept them on the flank, ready to either do something against the Reavers or try to get in on the Bowman. Yeah. Did I? So that was a mistake I definitely made. Did I buff this unit by killing Jorah? Does one, what does no, one the, war token the do? One didn't, the, he never got his buff from Unfaltering Conviction. Okay, it needs two, two units to die. So I was really hoping you'd kill a unit of Freedmen. And I was being a little buzzy what? with them. What if you just ran this unit of freedmen in front of the, the sword master so my iron makers have to charge them? I know a lot of yeah, people use like, drown men like that. Like, like just that absolutely jump. could have been a thing. But I think you like marched forward after they'd already activated. Oh, right. And then you had yeah. turn or I can't remember the sequence of events, but you like Wendy shifted forward and then charged. I just didn't have like an opportunity to do it. I, so I, so you got okay. you got mileage out of the freedmen being in combat, so I think you made oh, the right yeah. move. Well that too. Yeah. There is another option, which is you can just have them go off into the desert and die. <laughs> no, that's so, true, yeah. So you I, do I, that. I read today about that. Um uh where apparently that doesn't give me the buff. I don't know if that's true. But really? I, I I read today on the Slavers Bay subreddit or not sorry, uh, Discord, that um, if they die because of untrained masses, that I don't get the buff because of Marceline, because they're not technically uh, killed. But it, it says, each time a friendly combat unit is destroyed, and then, th maybe that's wrong, because this says, start of the round, if the unit is not in short range of a, of a friendly unit with untrained masses, masses it is destroyed. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's no, the same word. Wh whoever said that is just is, wrong. Is wrong, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it, now that I, now that I actually is... read the cards, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Sometimes it requires actually just looking at the cards, because I, I could have told you, yes, that absolutely is the combo. You can spawn the, the a The person who said that... And be like, Just let him die, here. yeah. The person <laughs> who said that is like reputable, so I wouldn't think that that... But the, the first one would have gotten me plus one to hit, which, honestly, I kind of don't need, because I get auto rerolls. And if I'm in gang up, like... Because ones always fail, right? You can't ever get to one plus, right? No. So, I mean, the real benefit would have been getting to the third one. Um, regardless, I, did, I had another Devotees of the Dragon. I would have loved to have gotten another unit of Freeman out there, but I knew that I was just never going to get take advantage of it. So. Gotcha. Um, uh, see a PA gamer, Dad? Sleep well. Dream of horses <laughs> eating fish. <laughs> um, I uh, I really I enjoyed this list. I liked the Double Sword Masters. I feel like everyone. Everywhere that I read, people say that they're bad, but every game that I play with them, they feel so goddamn good. And I just want to keep incorporating them in my list. They feel they're, so strong. They're so good. Yeah, they're, they... they're a really good unit. The, the issue is that Targ synergizes so much with horses in yes. the deck. Yeah, that's well, fair. When that's you fair. lean into the infantry list, it feels a little bit less bad. Yeah. yeah. Um, but the thing that, I mean, they're always so surprising because you, you can get them down to a rank or down a lot, and it's like they're still swinging with more attacks than yeah. I have on full ranks. Yeah. It's like, so they're really... They're especially if I never get early expected. Blood of the Dragons. Uh, yeah, especially that as well. Yeah, and then this is like one, one of the first games I've really been able to use Freedmen like effectively, and that also felt very good. Yeah, I felt so, like I had them positioned very well too. We were like in this weird middle ground where I was like kind of coned out, and I was like, "All right, if you charge me, I got two. This I like position this guy such that I would, like even if you went fifty percent in the other direction, I had line of sight in either direction. It was like a free charge in. I'm like, okay, I'm ready to charge in, and then get multiple attacks with my Swordmasters with Gang up. Like I, I had it all set up so. Beautifully. Yeah. I was very proud of about my positioning with that anyway. Yeah, it was definitely good. I think the other thing was that because you went first in this objective, it forced me to come to you, which allows you to have optimal choice of combat because yeah. you just sit and wait. Because it's like, if you don't come to, to me, you're going to lose the game. VPs right? and I kind of just like was waiting for you. Yeah. yeah. So maybe when I play this game in six months again um, <laughs> and I play this, this <laughs> mode, I hope it's not six months. I, I genuinely love this game. Yeah, same. Um, Maybe in Dance of Dragons, in an infantry versus infantry setup, like this kind of is, maybe taking first turn, grabbing those tokens is preferable with uh, with horses. When I take first, well, you I, took letters I and first, then I took horses. And then yeah. I took, and took horses, yeah. 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 Which are always the most value yeah. slots in the first round. In the first round. Yeah, That's yeah. always going to be the first two, I feel like, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, great, great tactics talk, talk. I felt like it was a good game. I had options. I tried them. It didn't work out. I think you definitely outplayed me, uh, at least in the taking the tokens and backing up, making me come to you. That was really smart. Um, hope everybody, three point Friedman, I think they're f for four points, aren't they? They're three. Oh, fuck. Yeah, yeah they're great. There's yeah. A, there's, I don't know the three point unit in the game. I can't. Uh, Jorah's three. Oh, of course. Who else is three? Are all the solo cavalry three? Mm, a lot of them are four, but I think there's one other three pointer. Okay, cool. Um, some of the wolves. Isn't there like a wolf? Yeah, the, wo the wolves oh, are the also Stark three wolves are But three. they they come with the, you have to buy someone else to yes. take that yeah, thing, yeah. so. 
All right, well, that'll do it for this stream, guys. Hope you enjoyed watching us play. If you like the stream and you want to support it, again, there are many ways to do that. Buying shirts help on my web store at maniac.co. Also, sub them with your Prime sub. And also, just your normal money. I like, I like normal money, too. <laughs> I don't need Bezos' money. I can take yours as well. If you yeah, want feel to free it. to donate. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, we'll head out, guys. And we'll be back for a Tuesday stream uh, painting. Again, we're looking at some drop paint from Scale 75, doing a little review of that. No gaming stream next week, but then back the week after that with a game against Evan. For Escalation League at 1250 points in the age of Sigma. It's gonna be sick. It's gonna be sick. But until then, guys, see you Tuesday. See ya. Good night. See you guys.